It's time to pack the movies. Yeah, we're jacked in again. Whew. Hello, Joe. Mr. Hack the Movies. Good to see you again. My name is Tony from Hack the Movies. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tony. Great to see you again, Joe. You too. You're looking styling. Are you I, must well, be jacked in, when right? You're jacked in. You're looking real good. To this program I made. You know, you got to look good. You got to look good. Less green this time around. This is true. Yeah. Uh, really, the light should be like purple and swirling, but who has ah. the time? Uh, yes, Where's the Joe? shimmering backdrop, you know? I know. Should have got I some know. like tinsel or something. I know. These Leftover. glasses are really dark. Okay. <laughs> these are like really good. I don't know whose these are. They were just left on the set. I I don't even. These aren't even like one of our prop glasses. Someone just left their glasses. The future's so bright. You got to wear shades. Yes. Uh, we're here to talk about Matrix resurrections more than one it's reloaded reinstalled reinstated <laughs> recoded rebooted. rebooted everyone says it should have been called rebooted i don't know why it's not why is it called resurrections there's more than one resurrection i guess i uh, maybe uh, uh as far as sequels with resurrection in the title go uh, oh, that great halloween one right <laughs> everybody's how, how favorite this, halloween how does this rank uh, against alien resurrection or halloween <laughs> resurrection um it's better than halloween resurrection okay i think i like alien resurrection better than this movie i think halloween resurrection had better fight scenes I, maybe you think so <laughs> i think so with fucking what's his face uh buster rhymes, buster rhymes. I, I don't even know why i just forgot what's that his face <laughs> he doing his kung fu uh whatever <laughs> trick-or-treat motherfucker yeah yeah it's great uh yeah so we're here with matrix resurrections the i don't want to even say long await it no one thought they were going to make this movie and I'm still wondering why they did, actually. Uh, the movie tells you why they did. <laughs> well, yeah. Because that's that's like a big part of this. It's like yeah. very meta. Yes. Okay. So I was we were talking about this beforehand. I am just, I am like not on the same wavelength as everyone else. Famously, I'm still getting yelled at for Ghostbusters Afterlife. I, look, I'm still getting yelled at. It's your opinion. But I'm getting yelled at by people who straight up tell me the original movie is not a comedy. <laughs> it is a comedy, but it's also a horror comedy and a sci-fi comedy. Yeah. Right? They're, they like Can we legit, agree? They, yes. Okay. But they legit... Th it's a comedy first. Well, but they legit right. think it's like a... They, d they just don't under... Like, they don't get it. So I'm getting yelled at for this. And then leading up to this movie, yeah. I was... I didn't care about... I, I just rewatched the trilogy recently. Sure. I got the 4K restoration of the trilogy. Beautiful. Beautiful. Got rid of a lot of the green from the first film. Okay. I watched on that, HBO Max, uh, the the originals. Yeah, do they... Because the first film wasn't as green as you remember it yeah, as it was in the theaters. So I wasn't sure. Yeah. I hadn't seen it in forever, so... Yeah, the restoration for uh, this one, they make it more natural. Sure. Uh, speaking of which, I, I might have mentioned this in another episode, but um, the Halloween 4K release that just came out for mm -hmm. the first movie, it's like the actual color correction from the 70s, which I never seen because i've only ever seen like the whatever the latest one the one from the 90s where they made it like bluer and more saturated right so i thought there was something wrong with my blu-ray <laughs> and i open it up and there's another disc that's like blu-ray with the specific anniversary color edition i'm okay. like oh shit okay so was the anniversary color dick uh uh color edition the one that the cinematographer like sat in and like graded with them and like regraded it i don't remember i just know there's I two forget. color correct the 4k yeah. one is like what it actually is supposed to look like yeah whichever one is supposed to, it's yeah. supposed to look like because they have the cinematographer like come back and like color yes. correct with them which like, uh, the people said that there's a whole video i've referenced it many times about the matrix and right. how like i don't think they had that they color corrected to look like the later movies we've talked about lord of the rings yeah they apparently colored it to look like the hobbit anyway the matrix trilogy 4k i rewatched it um you know, those those movies are a little complicated. And, you know, yeah. we're, we only reviewed the first one on the channel. We didn't have time to review two, three, or the Animatrix or anything like that. But I got someone to fill in for us. Oh, good. So we're going to cut to Mint Salad right now, recapping the Matrix trilogy. She did such a good job of the Spider-Man MCU movies. Yeah. 
So here's Mint Salad getting us up to date on the Matrix. The Matrix was released in 1999 and directed by the Wachowskis and stars Keanu Reeves as Neo. This movie is about Neo's journey to discovering the truth about the phrase The Matrix and the consequences he deals with after learning about the truth. There are some moments I found disgusting, like the scene where Neo gets a bug planted into his stomach. Many memes have come out of this movie, including the phrases red-pilled or blue-pilled. The scene where Neo avoids the bullets stuck out in my mind even five years after watching the film. I loved the less saturated, more selective use of the colors throughout the movie, and the action scenes are very satisfying to watch. The best part of this film has to be the kickiness. The Matrix Reloaded was released in May 2003 and directed by the Wachowskis and stars Keanu Reeves as Neo. This movie is about Neo's journey to meeting the creator of the Matrix and his attempt to prevent the destruction of Zion. There are even bigger, more insane, kicky scenes in this film. I liked the use of muted colors to establish the tone, but the color grading wasn't very distinctive or interesting on its own. However, I did like the designs of the Obino twins, a great contrast against the massive amounts of dark suits in the film. The one scene I distinctly remember was when Neo stopped all those bullets in the air. That kickiness scene was pretty rad. I liked this movie, but it didn't improve upon the first movie, so I'll give this film a 7 out of 10. Matrix Revolutions was released in November of 2003 and directed by the Wachowskis and stars Keanu Reeves as Neo. This movie is about Neo's journey in preventing the Matrix and the real world from being destroyed. I like the increased use of colored lighting throughout this movie and those colors helped me notice more of what was going on during visually busy scenes. I didn't notice any of the distinct designs except for Neo's blindfold, which I thought looked really cool on his face. The other designs I noticed had some color accents, but I wish there were more in this film. I enjoyed the CGI in this film, and I think the graphics aged better than the first movie, but it's still a product of its time. I enjoyed the final fight scene being shot in the rain because I love how the rain looked bouncing off of them, but the amount of kickiness in this film was just under satisfactory. For that, I must give this film a 6 out of 10. Knocked it out of the park again. I very think. informative. I I, th- I I am aware of where I stand on the story now. They're all we're all caught up now. What do you think of the sequels, real quick? What were your opinions of them? Um, as I, someone who bought the entire <laughs> toy collection and then regifted to me eighteen years later. All right, first let's talk about the toys real quick. Okay. So um, I was a big I'm a big McFarlane fan, so and especially, oh especially then. So like I had to have everything. Um, and I couldn't just get one. I had to get the whole set. That's why yeah. we have Naomi here and everybody yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, and the big box sets and stuff I gave to you too. Yeah. Um, but as far as, as far as the matrix itself goes, I mean, I was a, I was a pretty big fan, especially yeah. that first movie, the second one and the third one, the third one, I don't really care for. Okay. The second one I like a lot because there's, because I think it's one of those things where like there's cool action scenes and stuff. And I really like the twins, the characters. The oh, idea yeah. of the twins is cool. The idea yeah. that's okay. So upon I used to hate them. Really? I, I think I tolerated a lot of stuff in three. Okay. But I was not into the sequels. Yeah. Like I didn't see them in theaters. I saw them on TV, and I I remember reloaded as soon as Keanu turned into a CGI guy with a pole fighting all the Smiths. I'm like, is this like a joke movie? What is this? Yeah. This is like a fucking. What, this, I'm like, I, I in 2003, I'm like. This isn't real. This looks horrible. <laughs> well, the the yeah. CG in the first one's kind of dodgy. Yeah, but they, definitely dodgy. In you think <laughs> like third they one. like tone it down just a little bit, yeah. but no, they were like, all right, we can just do anything. Uh, it I is think an I, automag- o- 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 yeah. augmented reality. You know what I mean? So, I, like, I mentioned in the uh, previous film. I think my pro- well, the previous Matrix review. Uh, the problem with the sequels are the same problems I have with the Star Wars prequels, where there's like a horrible imbalance of just. Here's the boring talking scene. 
here's the cartoony over the top action scene and they're just two different extremes big time however upon rewatching them i can tolerate them a little bit more now i do like the story they're telling mm. just not so much the way they told the story <laughs> yeah uh they make some weird choices like in three there's like this huge action scene of the guys in the mech suits fighting the sentinels that goes on for like 15 minutes but it's characters we don't care about nope and or like, that, that well, there's like that one sergeant guy who we barely know, and then we'll talk the, about and, him again. <laughs> and the kid who we barely know and didn't like that much. And I'm like, wow, they devoted a lot of time to these characters that we don't care about. Yeah. So weird decisions. I like the stories. The plotting could have been better, but I've grown to appreciate them. So that's that's my thought on that. Well, there you go. And like I said, they're I, fine. And fun, I hear. I hear kind, that's the new phrase. Fine and <laughs> Hashtag fun. Hashtag fine and fun. Uh, yeah, so when they said they were doing a fourth one, I was like, okay. I just, I mean, look, there was a little bit of a window for her. They, they teased it at the end of Revolutions that Neo might come back, but kinda. I don't it, think we need to see it. It's also the thing of like, this is one of the only franchises where something like this makes sense. Okay. Okay. In terms of the way that this world functions, I think it's fine. Mm -hmm. Um, and your big problem with Ghostbusters <laughs> is like a fucking plot point in this movie. Yes. <laughs> which I actually, which, <laughs> which, which like, you're into, yeah. which is crazy to me. But like yeah. it, it, the member berries work for this and the story yeah. they're trying to tell. And you know, like I said, that me just being not on the wavelength as everyone people hate this movie i don't know why that okay i didn't hate it but like neither that's the thing i will i stopped watching it and i was like okay it's very much like mm, literally right. that was my thing i'm like yeah. all right yeah i wasn't like bullshit i, I didn't <laughs> i didn't scream in a theater even though i didn't actually scream in a theater i i, I was spoke I, loudly yeah i spoke loudly <laughs> but no, i was watching it and then i was like cool i'm gonna go to bed now that's then, pretty much what happened. And then the next day, I was yeah. like, all right, going to watch it again and take some notes. <laughs> but this time, I'm going to be in bed watching it. I'm so sad this is the last of HBO's uh, or Warner Brothers theater and streaming. Thing. Okay, so that's so what? Are they like breaking up or something? Well, no, they said, uh, well, no, the, their own. But um, no, they were only going to do it for like a certain uh, Oh, certain it's until like movie. January, right? Yeah. Yeah. So this is the last one, I think. Gotcha. <sighs> I'm going to miss that. Well, I'm glad I didn't see this in the theaters, to be perfectly Same. honest. I mean, I don't think there's one HBO Max movie I've seen where I went, wish I saw that in the theaters. Maybe Godzilla vs. Kong, but at the same time, I just got a big screen TV, so I'm like, ah, I can skip it. Oh, dude, I had to go for that, for sure. But like this, uh, I was like, it's the fourth movie in the Matrix thing. How is it going to turn out? Mm. I really, I, I felt less burned because I already had the subscription. To HBO, yeah. so I was like, All right, "Fuck it, yeah. you know, just put it on." But I saw the, the 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 Batman trailer came out today, and I'm like, "Oh, I didn't even see it today." I'm like, "Oh yeah, there's a new one." I'm no. like, "Oh, that's cool." Wish I could just watch it at home. I don't really want to go to the theater. The more they, the more the release, the release of that, the less I'm like, "Okay." I well, was kind I, of into it. Now I I'm, tweeted yeah. today. Uh, imagine getting excited for a Batman movie that I'm not in. Pathetic. <laughs> How, what Much like the what you dropped the ball on that one, man. What happened? It's, it's like the Matrix. Like you know, you, you did it. You're done. There's nowhere to go. I was. I or was, is there? I was saved from Gotham. I assume. <laughs> and I want to see Tony return, right, as one of the villains, like one of the lesser and villains. Joseph Gordon yeah, yeah. Oh my god, that would be amazing. Please do him yes. in. So. One thing you'll notice about this film: only one of the directors came back, Lana Wachowski. Now, why is that? I read uh, some interviews. Okay. Uh, so both of their parents died a while back. Okay. Like five weeks apart. Uh, and they were both, as you would be, unless you hate your parents. Well. Uh, but as you would be, they were both affected by that deeply. And they both went away. Like, so they've pretty much done everything together yeah. until this. Yeah, that's why I thought they've that was strange. They've been mostly doing TV stuff. Okay. I, I didn't see Jupiter ascending, I heard. Didn't see that either. I heard like a studio forced them to take six ideas worth of films and put six films like and because they thought it was going to bomb. So they're like, put it all in the one movie and let's and see what it happens. Was just a mess. Yeah. Um, so I didn't see that. I heard that was bad. I actually like Cloud Atlas despite some of its faults. Is that does that have Tom Hanks in it? Yes. Okay. I didn't see that. I want to see that. Yes. I can see people not liking that movie. I digged it. Okay. 
But yeah, I've been kind of hit or miss with a lot of their stuff. So they've been doing TV stuff like Senses 8 or something. So they've kind of not like a, like a, they hate each other split. Sure. Uh, but one of them said like, yeah, you know, after my parents died, uh, I got this idea of like wanting like a second chance at things. So that's why Lana came back to this. And also, I'm sure because of a shitload of money. Well, uh, of course. And, and then Lily, <laughs> she said like, she, you know, she just went through a transition. Her parents died and she wanted to like focus on new stuff instead of revisiting old stuff, which I appreciate. And also... She's going to make a shit ton of money from it anyway. Because what is she, like an executive producer on it? No, she's nothing, but they use so much footage from the trilogy. I'm true. sure she gets fucking oh, yeah. royalties there's, there's on it. There's definitely a check coming for sure. I'm sure she gets a cut of most <laughs> Matrix merchandise and stuff. We so. know Larry and uh, Hugo do for sure. Yeah, they definitely do. Like, there's no reason I would do the same thing. I'd yeah. be like... It's kind of like uh, Christopher Nolan, like he did his Batman movies and then he produces the new ones because he's like, oh, I don't have to do shit. I'll collect money from it. <laughs> Fuck it. I don't you care. Think that's a movie you're making? <laughs> yeah. Definitely a check he's collecting, right? That's like me. If someone wants to buy Mummy Cop. I'm like, whatever. I told my story. Sure. You guys go nuts. <laughs> don't care. Cha-ching. I got, I'm, I'm, I'm in the John Carpenter camp where it's like, oh, you're going to re remake my movie and ruin it? I cool. <laughs> money. <laughs> I fully endorse this product. <laughs> So yeah, there's there's different reasons for why only one came back. Mm. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's let's get into this movie here. Okay, and so, find out if we hate it. I definitely I don't hate it. You don't hate it. I don't hate it. I don't well, particularly you know like it though. Uh, to make sure we get clicks, I'm gonna put a teaser out. It's just a couple seconds of us hating it. Okay, ready? Ready? This is the worst movie I've ever seen. What were they thinking? I know. Joe, I don't, uh, look, I'm not afraid to say it. This movie's woke and I hate it. Whoa. The Matrix? Yes. Revisited. Yes. That I don't want to visit. Yeah, never again never. will I watch this movie. I hate it. Warner Brothers should be ashamed. And uh, it's not based or red pill. Don't see it. Okay, so that'll be the <laughs> teaser. And the internet will think we loved it. Oh, there you go. Anyway, let's get back. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I did a fake teaser for Ghostbusters Afterlife, and it worked out pretty well. <laughs> Hook, line, and sing. It's called a bait and switch, Tone. That's what we call it in the uh, in the biz. <laughs> oh, really? People call me a dirty liar. I thought it was a bait and switch. <laughs> so, yes, the movie starts off very similar to the first film. How about exactly yes. like the first film? Uh, where we hear a character talking about them finding a modal mm. computer term. Uh, they explain what a modal is soon, but you don't know right away. So you're like, what? I thought it was because it's a British accent. So yeah. I thought it was like, oh, a modal, like model. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> uh, all right. Yes. And then we find we we, uh, we see kind of the beginning of the first Matrix with Trinity uh, about to get swarmed by SWAT guys. Uh, and then we see Jessica Henwick's character, Bugs. Like the bunny. Warner Brothers. Get it? What's up, Doc? She even says it. Okay, what? What is going on with Warner Brothers that they have to, like, mention all their other movies and their properties? Memetis? Looney Tunes. Oh, God, Space Jam 2. There was a fucking movie. I'm Maybe they're playing. trying to recoup that, right? Subliminal, like they, the they Matrix. You're plugged in. Like they really want to remind people of their other properties and their movies. It's like, okay, like, like, yeah, I'm aware who Bugs Bunny is. That's kind of a stupid name for a character, but all right. And this I, is a universe where a character's name is Switch. Well, I thought it was Bugs, like you know, Bugs in like a computer program or something. Like, no, it's get, Bugs, like, a bug, like, like, like a and she literally has a rabbit tattoo and a carrot just to really drive the point home. Uh, yeah, so she's in the modal. She's watching what's happening. She's like, I know what this is. This is this is how it started. And now you can see the operator. They're like projected and they look exactly how they do in the real world. And it's just jarring. Now that we're talking about it, how the fuck did they get in there? Uh, they mentioned the one neologist guy. That's a real term. Uh, found the modal. Like he found an old code. In the Matrix. He found an old code in the Matrix that's created by Keanu Reeves' character. Yes. So it's like this fucking... It's, it's like the program within the program within the program. Yes, they found a program within a program. But you can't jack into the program within the program. Well, they did. That's why I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> what's going on here? Hey, the rules have changed, all right? They changed a lot of the rules. Like I said, you can see the operator now. 
and you don't even need to well, wear it's a thing. that's kind of cool because he's like a glitchy he's like yeah. glitches in and out which is kind of neat i thought that was cool and yeah. the way that they travel in between the matrix and the real world is neat yeah they don't need hard lines anymore apparently apparently they they're don't. just like fuck it we have portals here we go <laughs> you can be unplugged yeah. at any time and it doesn't yeah. matter by the way I'm, I'm talking to our operator right now that only i can see <laughs> It's, it's, yes. Hi, Trisha. How are you? Okay. Glad you bought that cat suit for the review. And I'm glad that you're actually here right now. And you didn't bail out of the review last minute. And now I'm figuring out a way to shoehorn you in the film. I'm glad you're actually here, but only I can see you. She's going to pull your plug, dude, right Don't on the ship. Don't pull my yeah. plug. <laughs> okay. Anyway, back to this. She literally bought that cat suit for the review. <laughs> And I told before we got on, I was like, I was gonna wear the whole suit and the earpiece <laughs> and shit and the sunglasses, and I was like, eh, eh. Um, she sees it play out, but it's not playing out the same. Well, there's Smith, different characters. Uh, yeah, yes, go ahead. Smith looks like Morpheus. Yeah, he is. That's another thing, but he's not. Yes, and Bugs gets caught, and she wants to run away, and she turns into a horrible CGI model, jumping from building to building. Mm -hmm. Uh, that was okay. When she slides down like the lights and stuff? No, the sliding down the lights look cool. cool. It's when she bounced from the buildings that looked really bad. Oh, when she steps on the thing and it like breaks. Yeah. And I'm like, don't they like put the that in the trailer. Yeah. I'm like, that's not a good shot. No, but it's also like don't only like the super powered free your mind people, i.e., you know, Neo can do that shit. Well, no, no, because no, Trinity was able to do some shit like that. Like punch through walls and shit though? Oh yeah. Remember Morpheus jumped through a wall. Oh, they were yeah. able to bend the rules a little bit. A little they bit couldn't more. like break them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Neo could. Yeah, right, that was right. like there was like a, right. there yeah. were limits to what they could do. Because remember, Spoon, Spoon Boy was able to bend spoons. Well, this yeah. is also true. Um, yeah, I do like bend yourself, Tony. Yeah, when she's <laughs> falling down the side, it says Andersons. Yeah, but at the bottom it says for those who love to eat shit. But then she face plants, and it's like, oh, she ate shit. I'm like, that was a weird visual cue to put there, but I, okay, I, I got it. <laughs> you get it yet, Tom? <laughs> I'm winking and I'm nudging you very yeah. hard. So she's getting chased by Morpheus. She goes to the key shop. Remember keys? Yeah. That, I mean, yeah. Yeah, the key maker and all that shit. Yeah, the shit. key maker yeah. who had all the back doors. And yes. Morpheus pulls her into a back door and he's like, I'm here to hunt sentient pro. I'm a, I'm a program, but I'm also Morpheus. Yes. And she's like, oh, my God, you're the guy. You're you're him. Um, she's like, this is Neo has something to do with this. I saw Neo once. And Neo? Who? Yeah. Who? Oh, no. He's like, this is his apartment. He's like, man. I never found Thomas Anderson. He's like, oh, you yeah. know, his real name, Neo. <laughs> uh, yeah. So she's like, once I saw an old guy about to jump off a roof and it looked like Keanu Reeves for a second. That's when I realized I was in a computer. And he's like, oh, it's crazy. I was in the bathroom one day. And I looked at water and I was like, computer. I looked in the mirror and I just saw the Matrix, <laughs> TM. And there I was. And then I, saw, I took the red pill question mark because yeah, they explain how he's Morpheus, but not really. The, he's not the same Morpheus. No, he's not the same Morpheus. He's just and like he should a different, have a different name. Yeah. He's like, oh, I was the guy who played the new Candyman. And I guess I'm Morpheus. Uh, now, Black Manta. <laughs> I <laughs> thought Aquaman. I thought I thought he um. They just like maybe like reskin him or something because we play with that a little bit in yeah. in this. We we find out what he is. Yeah, which but, <laughs> so he's a program. He's not a person, and the modal is there to evolve and advance programs. Right, but he's also created by Neo. Yes, and which he's we a find out mixture in a second. of Agent Smith and Morpheus. And Morpheus, and he has to be red pilled uh, to get based as you do. Uh, well, because even computer programs have to be red pilled. Yeah, I thought the the red pill, other than to get based, uh, it was to find your pod in the real yeah. world, right? Uh, 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 yes. Is it some kind of like beacon or something where you like merge? Yeah, I think it's like the reality. I think it's like a program that helps like locate your pod sure. in the real world. Yeah. So it's weird they gave it to a program because um, you know you have to choose. To come he, out of the matrix, it also exists in the matrix yeah. only. It doesn't. He doesn't exist in the outside world. He's created in a program, in a program. Yes, and he's a program. And he's a program. Yes, this will all make sense <laughs> later or not. Uh, so they go to run, and this is what I'm saying about like the action not being like like the matrix was groundbreaking. Sure, and then the sequels. When they weren't doing on camera like kung fu, were cartoony 
like disaster pieces. Uh, well, this is also true. But then this movie, it's like, all right, well, this looks fine, I guess. There's some like, cool choreography, but the hallway thing is nowhere near as cool as Inception. Mm-hmm. That was like what, twelve years ago? I know. Like it's like okay, they're bouncing off the walls. All right, I do like that. He's like taking the red pills, like messing them up. They call him Smith, and he starts laughing. Oh and yeah, shit. and he's like, <laughs> he's like popping up and uh, out of what is he? He like jumps up. He's like, I'm not an agent anymore, and look at my Joker outfit. Yeah, yeah or some shit. Like he's that. like, oh, I'm wearing girls' glasses or something. He says something like that. I never wear different sunglasses before. This is great. <laughs> uh, and then they jump off a roof into some glass. So that's the that's the mode of transportation in this film yes. now. Instead of having to pick up a phone and get the hard line dinner or whatever, which yeah. was kind of weird, but also made sense yeah. to me. Yeah. Uh now it's just like No, you just go through some. No, no, mirrors. no. You just you know, you could jump through a fucking rear view mirror that's like this big because yeah. objects are closer than they appear or something. Yeah. Question I, mark. I get that they wanted to progress the technology. It, it's kind of cool. They they wear like these bracelets or these chokers. Yeah. That have like these little, I don't know what, blue chips or something on them? I, I forget. They don't those. explain it, but yeah, it's just like, there's yeah, a lot that's not explained. It's hand waved for big uh, time. But yeah, we find Neo at his desk where he has made a game called, made three games called The Matrix. The Matrix Trilogy, man. Yeah. That groundbreaking series. Oh, yes. I, just, I sunk so many hours into that when I was a kid, didn't you? Uh, yes. Yes. I mean, I'm living in a totally different reality. You know, the machines control me. I'm a power source, Tony. Right. There, he has like this exposition friend yeah. that oh, comes God. in and says basically that. Uh, and he's this also working on card. a new game called Binary, and he's using old Matrix code, but that's his modal. And on his desk are the toys that you gave him, I assume. This one specifically. Yes, and um, Morpheus. Yep, and Morpheus. I, I le- left the Sentinel at home. I let them borrow them for the movie. <laughs> By the way, if you want to know more about the toys that Joe gave me, check out Peg Warmers. We did a Matrix Toys episode. I should have had you on. Sorry about that. No, that's fine. I just wish you kept some of the accessories. I know everything was in that box. The, 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 a lot of them are in the display <laughs> cases, okay? I lost her glasses. I don't know where they are. I kept these figures complete for years. I'm and I give them sorry. to Tony and they're all, everything's missing. I'm sorry you gave me three cardboard boxes covered in bubble wrap and some of the stuff is this big. Uh, look, they, they're gone. I don't know what to tell you. But yes, I sat there and I was like, oh my God, those are specifically the toys. Oh yeah. Oh, I, I kind of was like, are you, are we doing this? Like what's going on here? <laughs> Did you immediately go to eBay and see what they're selling for? And then no, go, Tony, Tony. <laughs> I looked before I gave them to you. Tony. Oh, okay. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. So, um, yeah, his friend comes in. It's like, I can't believe you. Made the Matrix. That's awesome. Let's go get you want a cappuccino, dude. Let's or get yeah, an espresso. Let's get some coffee at our favorite coffee shop, Simulate. Is that what it was called? I t- right over me. <laughs> like simulate, Simulate in oh. green font. Oh, watch that in green font. <laughs> I like literally tweeted. I was like Simulate, <laughs> Simulate. <laughs> it's a sim. Mm, it's good. Yep. Um. So we see a glimpse of Neo's reflection in the table. Yeah. And for a second, I thought it was the architect. Like, that's what I thought, too. Especially, yes. be, especially again, like he's creating programs in in his mm-hmm. computer and he's made these video games or whatever. Um, yeah. It's uh, much simpler than that. Yes. And then uh, his friend is talking about how great the trilogy is. Mm-hmm. And I feel like this. I feel like a lot of things that people say about the Matrix in, in this movie is shit that Lana Wachowski has had to hear about for 20 but years. I, like, it really didn't change all the rules, and it did this. And I, I imagine her being like, yeah, I was there. I know. I made it. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Uh, and it gives you, like, this abridged version of the Matrix and what it is, like, yeah. real quick. Like, if you don't know about this, they're like, yeah, it's a fucking simulation and whatever. We're yeah. in pods somewhere or something. Yeah, and they constantly keep showing clips from the trilogy. Yeah. Remember that? Just yes. in case you didn't see the other ones, we're going to show this clip real quick. Yeah. And then in walks into Simulate mm. Trinity. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't, don't say Trinity. Tiffany. Tiffany. I'm not sure what the joke is there. Uh, we'll get to that at the end. Hold on. Uh, but she has kids and a husband named Chad, played by a real life guy named Chad, who's the director of the John Wick movies. That's the director of the or John Wick movies? one of the directors. Oh. I forgot. There was like a split at some point. Uh, he was also Keanu Reeves' stuntman in the Matrix films. Was he really? Because uh, John Wick was directed by like two stunt guys. Yeah. Uh, and the reason I know that is because when you go to IMDb trivia, this fact comes up like six times. It just changed a little bit. <laughs> and I'm like, 
I was like, did you know that Chad, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay. When I scroll down, I'm like, are there any more interesting facts? The director like, of John Wick was the... It was dumb literally... Dumb. Yeah, it was like six <laughs> times. And then, and then uh, more facts. These contain spoilers. And it's like, the director of Chad. I'm like, oh my God, I get it. <laughs> Do you think that's why Neo has long hair in this? Because they're like, oh, we're shooting John Wick 4. Don't fuck with it. All right? Don't make it short. <laughs> well, he also has short hair at one point. Yeah, but so. he's not completely shaved like he is in the... We'll talk about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so she doesn't know who he is. His friends try and introduce them. She's like, she's a hardcore MILF. <sighs> yeah, his friends like purposely annoying, but I think a little too much. Again, this is probably based off assholes that Lana knows. I, I probably, and, and like as we come to find it, we'll we'll get to it. Yeah. But as we come to find out, everything is done for a specific reason. Yeah, and there's no way he can p- compete with Chad. He's not even red pill or base yet. No. So yeah, Neo has a meeting with his business partner who is quoting Agent Smith. Uh, He lets them know that... uh, His fucking mouth gets all crazy and like sticks together and stuff. Yeah, because he starts to have a little bit of a breakdown. We find out that Neo had... Sorry, Thomas Anderson had like a little mental episode. Yeah, Neil Patrick Harris is his... uh, Yeah, we're we're getting to him, but like... Yeah, yeah. Before that, what leads to that is uh, his business partner... Tells him that uh, Warner Brothers is going to make Matrix 4 with or without him. So you can either cash the check or you can take a fucking hike. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, all right. But then they get like a production team together to like do it. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, he basically begs him to work on Matrix 4. Uh, Neo then meets with his analyst, Neil Patrick Harris, about yeah. it. Uh, and he, yeah, that's when you find out, like, you know, he like tried to kill himself. He was like a suicide yeah, he's, 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 he was going to jump off the, the he, ledge of the, at this party. Because he wanted to fly or he, something. Yeah, he, he's like, no, no, I totally did one time. Yeah, so he's like... Got a, these weird dreams where I saved the world. Yeah. The yeah. real world, not this world. Yeah, that's what he says. Yeah. <laughs> it's like either... Uh, oh, no, that comes a little bit later. Yeah, I know. It's so he's all basically like, just trying to like walk him through his stress. Like, hey, relax. It's going to yeah. be fine. It's okay to be upset. Uh, because of this. And then Christina Ricci shows up for 10 seconds. What was she doing there? I thought she was going to like play a bigger part, but she's literally just there to be like the CEO of Warner Brothers and to be like, here's your Matrix 4 pam- pamphlet and this is what we're doing. Mm-hmm. And then she fucks right out of the uh, movie. I don't know. She like, she's had a kid recently. Maybe she wanted like a little bit of cash before the kid came out. Yeah, this and, is possible. But she was there. She sure and was. For 10 seconds. I was interested, and then I wasn't, because she, <laughs> she literally vanishes from the movie after that. Um, yeah, so they, uh, they're talking about the fourth uh, Matrix game, and they're talking about what made the series so great, and this also feels like conversations Lana's had to have heard, like, it broke new ground, it messed with your head, it's a trans allegory, it's this, it's this, it's all about the bullet time. Bullet time! And, like, Neo just looks so miserable, I'm like, this is, I feel like this is Lana, this is probably, like, a real production Sipping meeting they had. Sipping their simulate. <laughs> Drinking their simulate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Staring coldly out at the world. I do love the one guy that's just like, I didn't even like the Matrix yeah. as much as you guys. <laughs> I didn't it think was all right. Good. I love how the, uh, the Scottish guy comes mm. back from the first movie when he when he gets the uh, the program from Neo in the beginning of the first movie. Oh, yeah. Wait, yeah. he's in this? Yeah, he's he's just there to talk about the Matrix. And he's like, do you remember the movie The Matrix? I had no idea. Yeah, what? the red-haired guy, yeah. Oh, I'm almost shit. positive that's the same dude. I... We're gonna have to check that. We're gonna have to check. He looks that. just like him. <laughs> I, maybe he's purposely meant to it, look like that Maybe it's possible. Uh, so it looks like they're having the same con- conversations over and over again. And then we keep seeing Priyanka Chopra in a shop. That Neo visits, they keep showing her, and I'm like, well, and I call this in our review, and when I saw the trailer, I'm like, she's grown up, Satine. I thought she was going to be like the new Oracle or something. No, she's the program from two and three. No, I it's get it. Grown up, no, I, guess, I know. Because I guess programs age. They get married, apparently. <laughs> and age, have is, kids. age is a weird thing here because yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you do get old in the Matrix, and you do get old in the pods. Yeah. And you do get old in the real world. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm. G- <laughs> hmm. What I like about this is they kind of shit on other reboots that basically just yeah. tell the same story again, but a little different. Like Force Awakens is like the ultimate example of that. Sure. But then it does stuff like. That the Force Awakens does directly. It does kind of do that. Uh, <laughs> it becomes a fucking Marvel movie at one point. Yeah. And I will say, like, when we have an episode on good reboots that we did recently. Sure. 
good reboots that we liked that did a, something a little different. Uh, I brought in Lost in Space. I didn't watch the season three yet. I gotta watch season three. I haven't even. I saw the first episode of that. It's good. My old man said it was good. It's good. So it's good. I don't know why you own an old man. That's a little weird. Oh, I don't know. I keep him in the closet. <laughs> That's a little. Yeah. <laughs> is he your slave? Are you like? Is, do you have him plugged in? <laughs> it's possible. Yeah, I have him plugged in. Exactly. <laughs> Always cracks up. You're like my old man. I'm like, why do you own an old man? <laughs> He's a vintage. Okay. <laughs> it's a great year. Um, yeah, because they're shitting on it. Because I honestly, like, thought, like, and people were saying, like, oh, I bet the whole movie is going to be, like, waking him up to be the one again. And it's not quite that. It pretty much is that, Tony. It is that, up. but it's not like it's hitting, like, a lot of the same. Or when it hits a story beat, it's, there's a little bit more to it, it feels like. Uh, it is that, and then they decide to it not be that at the yeah. end. And then it was like, okay. Yeah. I am enjoying, I will say, when I'm watching I'm enjoying this part of the film. No, and I yeah. I really liked it because I was like, okay, how are we going to do this, right? Yeah. He's got to be put back into the Matrix somehow. Yes. That's the only way this is going to work. Yeah. And then it's like, wait a second. Didn't he die at the end of three? <laughs> and then they're like, yeah, he died, didn't but, he? Uh, and I, I like that they clearly had trouble trying to figure out a fourth chapter. And it's, a lot of this movie is just them being like, how do we make a fourth one? I don't even fucking know. Like a, per a large percentile of the movie is that? And then I had honestly, just enough ideas to just I be like, honestly okay, would have loved if that was the whole fucking movie. Oh, it was man. them just being like, how do we make a fourth one? I don't even know. <laughs> I really wasn't expecting them to... I don't know what I was expecting, but I didn't expect him to come out of the Matrix. Like, I kept thinking it was because we're doing this whole, again, the Alice in Wonderland motif, the, yeah. the down the rabbit hole, down the rabbit hole, rabbit hole, rabbit hole. Yeah. But they don't do what I thought they were going to do. Yeah. Which is just make him, like, crazy or whatever. They're like, oh, no. Yeah, no, this is, yeah, yeah. You're, you're in the Matrix Matrix. Yeah. Oh, he stops taking his blue pills. Oh, yeah. He, like, dumps them down the and fucking drain. He's like, drain. I will be soy no longer. I'm baby. <laughs> No more fucking simulates for <laughs> no me, more baby. Simulates for me. I'm drinking IPAs now, buddy. <laughs> I'm having a well. I'm having some slop <laughs> on the other side. Um. So Neo and Tiff talk about his game. By the way, I mean, like all the footage from the game is just footage from the movies. From the movies, yeah. So are they like the cut scenes? Yeah, that was weird to me. I'm like, why not just say he made movies or like? I think that would have been better. Also, but then, like, why is why would he be coding, right? Or just show footage from a game. There's enough Matrix games, and also they're doing that Unreal Engine Matrix oh, experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, you could have recreated scenes from the movie in games. They do have him in in an Oculus Rift at one they point, do. like punching shit yeah. off a uh, uh, but like a why. Shelf. It, that was weird that they just showed footage from the actual movies and like, well, then just say he was a director. Like that probably make. A little bit more sense. No, because he has to fucking do that stupid thing where he codes a program that's Morpheus and Smith. To I guess help him so, later. but then just like CGI remake the scenes or use the awful PS2 cutscenes, <laughs> like something. <laughs> right? That would have been a little bit more interesting. Yes. I would prefer the PS2 footage over any of this fucking god awful slow mo that I hate. <laughs> the fake slow mo is running throughout this movie. Yo, we'll yeah, talk about it. Yeah, the fake slow mo is pretty, pretty rampant in this. Big time. Um, so, yeah, she talks about his game. By the way, I can't picture, like, how old, how old is. What's her face now? Oh, the chicken plays Trinity? Yeah. I forgot her name. I can't picture her going home and firing up her kid's Xbox to play these games. No. And she's, she's like, said, I played some of your game. I'm like, you did? Everybody knows about the Matrix. <laughs> and, you know? And uh, Well, that would be like, like my mom knows Grand Theft Auto. She yeah, hasn't played it. No, but she yeah. knows of it, right? Yeah. Like, it's a big phenomenon or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But she's like, yeah, so I fired up your game. I'm like, no, you did it. You're a liar. <laughs> I'm having a hard time talking about this because I want to just, like, spoil the shit out of it already. Uh, because, like... The way the way that they have her in the Matrix, mm. because it's Trinity. Yes. Can we just say that it's yeah, her? It I mean, Trinity. it is her. Um, the way that they have her in there and the way her program is running or her life is running is like she's like a soccer mom. Yeah. Who also works in like some like industrial auto body shop building oh, yeah, motorcycles she mentioned, she mentioned and shit. Here. She's like, I like that she likes Ducatis. I make motorcycles. I you do. I thought I looked just like her and I asked my husband and he laughed in my face. Because we see her reflection at one point. Yeah. And she's like a blonde girl. She's totally different looking. And so is. Uh, and yeah. like, it's like, yeah, I'd laugh too. Like, yeah. Joe, if you came up to me and you were like, Tony, don't I look 
just like this and you show me a picture of Morpheus, I'm going to be like, no. What are you talking about? It looks just like me. I'm be like, no, I'm sorry, Joe. You don't look like Morpheus. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, there's a good uh, social commentary there about what you see versus what other people see, yeah. which I think is kind of neat that they explore. Yeah. But it's also that thing of just like, oh, yeah, we reskinned you so nobody would know except you. You can see each other. Yeah, you uh-huh. can see. You can see, but no one else can. But they can see each other, though, no? Yes. Or is it only for the audience? No, 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 no. They see each other. They see, like, Keanu and they Reeves see sees themselves. Trinity no one else versus, does. Versus, 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 yeah. So, yes. like, it's why? very confusing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so they they have that whole conversation, um, and they talk about how they relate to the characters a little bit. And now this is a little. All right, so it's kind of fun. He's like, yeah, you know, I uh, I put a lot of myself into the character Neo, but then she's like, yeah, you know, the character of Trinity reminds me of me, and I'm like are we supposed to imply like the games are fairly new and he put her in the game because he saw her at the coffee shop? They say it's even like what, 15, 20 years removed, 25 years removed or something like that uh, from the, when the games came out. I guess. I think that's what they say. Yeah. It was a little confusing. Yeah. It's a little confusing. Um, also, we never find out what happened to that game he was working on binary. No. Uh, although they, all we know is over budget. <laughs> that's Does it. It, doesn't matter. Doesn't cause matter. Because we're doing Matrix 4. Uh, and she mentioned she wanted to kick her husband's jaw off. off. That comes up later. <laughs> uh, Tony, make sure you throw the toaster in the bathtub when White Rabbit peep, peeps <laughs> because it's, it's happening right now. Morpheus. Oh, oh. His work gets swatted. Which is the thing that happens, especially to tech people, for some reason. Uh, his work gets swatted. He runs to the bathroom and he meets Morpheus. Oh God! At last, I do. I do appreciate that the Morpheus program knows that he's supposed to be Morpheus and he's trying. And he's like, I don't know if I'm doing this right. He's like, Yeah, I wish it would be a cooler setting with the bathroom. I guess. Do you remember when it happened in the video game in the old movie where where Morpheus is like, At last, and there's yeah, like yeah. lightning and shit. I don't know. I'm in a bathroom. He's like now we're here. Remember that scene in Candyman where I, they're kind of yeah. making fun of how reboots retread things. <laughs> no, like, sure. oh, you know what? What if it's in a fucking bathroom? Fuck it. Uh, yeah, so then the SWAT comes in and tries to kill everyone. Morpheus is shooting them up. And then Neo's business partner picks up a gun. And, and then remembers that he's Agent Smith. Morpheus says to Neo at one point, like, you wanted this. That's why you made me. To yeah. come back t- for whatever. He's like, yeah, you programmed me to find Neo. And I worked so well that I was able to find you. And I did. You. And it turns out it's you. Turns out it is. Here's the pill, bud. <laughs> um... So yeah, uh, fucking Smith is about to kill Neo, but then he gets teleported to the analyst's house, Neil Patrick Harris. Yeah, because who's the- like you just showed up at my door and my cat Deja Vu. His cat's name is Deja Vu. Remember the cat from the first one? Well, it was Deja Vu. Yeah, because it happened. To- it was a glitch. That was stupid. Like like yeah. I said, <laughs> like every time I was like, all right, movie, I'm on board. They do stuff like that. And I'm like. What does, what's his name again? The, ar- the Not the architect. The analyst. The analyst. But he's also... Is he a programmer or is he a machine? He's a program. Okay. Or a machine? Because he's, because he's, he's, like, little, he's like, on the, yeah, on the outside there. My boy, yeah. the suits or whatever. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's a about? little unclear. But yeah. anyway. Uh, so he's just like, yeah, you know, uh, you're having a little episode. This didn't happen. Remember when you tried to jump off that building? That was crazy. Uh, and he's like, look, it's it's fine to like have fantasy and reality. You just got to be able to tell the difference. Yeah. And it's like that whole thing at your office didn't happen. What's real? What's not? Yeah. If I go down there right now, am I going to see people dead? And he's like, no, no, <laughs> no, no, you won't. I do like he's like either uh, I'm having a mental breakdown again or I'm in a or simulation, I'm in a simulation <laughs> again. again. <laughs> it's like either way, I'm kind of fucked. Like- uh, it's time to throw yourself off that fucking building again, dude, because he, he can't cope. Yeah. Yeah. He's about to jump off the building. Yeah. Oh, no, he's trying to fly. <laughs> oh, that's. Yeah. And, After uh, a bottle of uh, vodka. Yeah, yeah. And Bugs is like, stop it. <laughs> Don't do that. You're not ready for that yet. But she's like, hey. Remember when I pulled you? I saw you jump, almost jump off that building. I had to stop you again because you're the one who inspired me. Yeah. I saw you for a second and I was like, this is a computer. <laughs> like the, the the steps you take there. Who woke her up? I, I don't know. I guess she started. I guess she started like fucking around looking for computers, and then they find her fucking around. Isn't that how they found Neo? They found him like coding shit. And they're like, all right, yeah. this guy's a little uh, yeah, yeah. 
Because I remember Morpheus in the original Matrix, he was like a terrorist or something. Like there are articles about him. Right. Like hacking into stuff. So I guess right. when like you're a really good hacker, people on the outside are like, all right, that guy might know. Right, but they branded him as such because the machines wanted to take them down yeah. and find him. Yeah. But I'm saying, I think you have to be like really good at computers okay. and mess with the Matrix code a little bit. So that you're noticed and people go, he's the one, he's going to yeah. break but free. But not even the one, just like, hey, this guy is looking up certain things. He's questioning his reality. Yeah. He's good. Or she, or they, or they uh, yeah. can get out of the matrix. Um, <laughs> I like so that. I, guess the, I, I like that whole existential dread kind of thing, yeah. where it's like, yeah, you are living in this. You know, is this a simulation kind of thing? I don't no, know. No, that's stupid. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't think that's a. I'm, I'm saying I like the metaphors. Oh that no, there's people who think really. No, I know. There's like, also people that want to live in Avatar Land. Still? I don't know, maybe. They're all dead God, now, all, I think. All those assholes are coming <laughs> back when Avatars 2, 3, 4, never, and 5. Avatars never coming. You and I will be like 50 they years filmed, old. They've at least filmed some of it. I know that. Uh, <laughs> Who knows when it's coming out? I don't out. know. Call, I'll, I'll be in fucking New Zealand when yeah. they come, you know. Uh, <laughs> so, where are we at here? So, yeah, she's like, hey, look, I'm meant to save you. Uh, because you saved me, and just to prove it, look, I got a white rabbit tattoo. Follow the white rabbit. And he's just like, okay, and they walk through a door where the Matrix is playing. <laughs> it was... It, it, <laughs> They're it, like, hey, we wanted to make it a little bit more reminiscent of the last time. He's got the, the couches rental. and stuff, and he's like, yeah, you need some member berries, some nostalgia to jog your memory, and it's like, yeah. you've been doing it the whole time. Time sure. to fly. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so they're trying to convince him again. He's like, uh, um, okay, maybe. Uh, I don't know. This seems kind of fucked. Didn't I, like, end all this? Well, yeah, but then he's like, this really happened? They're like, yeah. yeah. Look, watch the movie. Oh, we forgot. This is also where they mention because they go through a train to Tokyo, then the theater. Yeah. And they I, talk about how, like, you know, we could see our operators now and we don't need phone booths anymore. Right. And then they, but they transport literally through mirrors, just yes. like in Alice in Wonderland. Like or back doors. Through mirror, the looking yeah. glass. Yeah. I think they, they use the mirrors to go in and out of the Matrix. But okay. They also gotcha. have access to all That's these right. back doors. Literal um, doors that just open and you go through. Yeah. Well, that was how it was in two and three. Well, no, I'm just saying. Yeah. Um, let me see. Uh, Bugs tells them they were looking for him for years, and it's actually been more like 60 years in the real world. And then that's where things get weird, because it's like, all right, well, these people have obviously aged, but you haven't, and you're also reskinned with, what the hell do they call them, the DSI loop? Yeah, so yeah. So they're so like, nobody oh. can recognize them? Yeah. Yeah. And he sees himself in the mirror, and he's like, I'm yeah. an old guy. Uh so they, they taught, yeah, that's what they said. They were like, yeah, we knew that someone made a matrix called Thomas Anderson, but it didn't look like you. It didn't read as you. Right. And then we realized what they did. You read all blue, baby. Yeah. And they're like, we have no idea what happened to you after you went to the machine city. Like, this is like, so this is kind of weird that you're still alive. All we know is that you died and we've been in peace ever or since. Or maybe. And even more <laughs> is like, hey, some people think that you were working with the machines the entire yeah, time. That's what, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. 60 years, uh, they're like, it's time to come back. So he takes the red pill. Without gets, even thinking about it. Yeah, gets based again. And then uh, Neil Patrick Harris tries to keep him soy. <laughs> like all these terms. <laughs> it's kind of... It, <laughs> I love, we mentioned this in the first major. I love how red pill just took on a whole different meaning. <laughs> <laughs> I like yeah, Neil Patrick Harris is like, oh my God, don't leave the Matrix. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love it though, because yeah. like what he's telling him, it, it, it's a lot... I like it better than the way they did it in the first movie where he just like touches the mirror and it like engulfs yeah. him. And in this one, he's like, wait, you know, you're, you're back in my office again. You're crazy. Mm -hmm. Like this stuff isn't real. And like the, the, uh, turmoil the, going on there. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't, his fucking brain didn't rip in half. Yeah. Right. Like he just yeah. went completely crazy. Yeah. I don't know. But before the whole mirror thing happens, SWAT team comes in and attacks all of them. <sighs> and it leads to a chase on the train. Yeah. Where swarm mode is initiated, where yeah. everyone on the train gets swarmed and they all turn into kind of agents. Somebody played a video game. Yes. Because they were like, turn on swarm mode, initiate bullet time, tap X when yes. you get to the door. And like all the, yeah, so they're not like people, they're bots. We <laughs> find out later that the, this world is filled with bots that can be programmed at any time. They don't have to go over copper tops. Yeah, but that's also, it, it's also weird because then it's like, I mean, hold on. Let me think about this real quick. <laughs> We're all a piece of the programming in the Matrix because our real bodies are obviously in those pods. Yeah. 
So we are a program that can be hacked, yeah. i.e. the, yeah, uh, the agents. The yeah. agents. But when they enter our bodies or 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 these bots that they talk about, yeah. there's extra bots around among other people? Or, yeah, or are they not, just using the people that are jacked into the no, matrix? No, 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 no. They're not hacking into people anymore. So they're using... Those bots are like... NPCs and video games. So, but it's like it, it's like everybody in the Matrix, though. Yes, especially like later. Yeah, he he purposely said later on they say like, yeah, we just fill this whole thing with bots to keep. It's way easier than wasting people. Huh. Yeah. Oh, okay. And I guess it's one of those like when you look back at the Matrix, like, oh, they're all killing like real people. Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. But I, and I guess they were like, eh, that doesn't seem really heroic. <laughs> oh man, we lost a lot of energy on that one. Yeah, they're like, that doesn't seem really heroic. We should. They can just shoot mindless. Because you know what uh, sequels to stuff love to do? Make mindless armies. Remember the droid army in the yeah. prequels? They do some pretty cool stuff in this later. Yeah. But it's also like... Eh. But I think that was a way where they could kill people without having to be like, yeah, but you actually killed someone. Yeah, like, because when we're shooting people and stuff, it's just like green code exploding yeah, or whatever. Yeah. There's so not they, a lot of blood in this. So yeah, there's a big fight on the train. They throw him through a little mirror and he gets out. And actually, uh, oh no, that, that's something later. So he gets out, uh, and he gets saved by two machines. The the one looks like a sentinel walrus, and the other one looks like a sentinel butterfly thing. Uh, oh. Wait, what? Sebebe and Octales. And Octales, <laughs> yes. And then there's a stick one. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah. somebody's making plush toys of them. So they take Neo out, and yeah. him and Trinity are in some tower, away yeah. from the grid. Mm -hmm. They even say, like, he's off grid. He's, like, not even in a regular pod. Which is kind of interesting. Yeah, so they take him out. Sentinels fill the place, but they get out of there in time. Uh, yeah, no, no one... No one's monitoring. This is like the most important pod thing ever. They don't have any. Again, there should just be a sentinel in there, like on top of it, like yes. a, like like a bird in a nest, right? Yes, just waiting for something to happen, bad to happen. Exactly. The machines are just overzealous, man. They're like whatever. Yeah, nobody's uh, coming in here. So they get them out of there, and uh, he's in the real world again. I guess atrophy is not a thing. We're speeding it up, Tone. We yeah. ain't got time for that shit. He's already got his eyebrows you know mostly back, his hair's mostly grown back, I his didn't beard. notice it so much here. I'm like, maybe there was a time lapse I was unaware of. But at the end, there's a big thing with the atrophy, and I'm like, nah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, they're, where are we at here? Uh, they uh, they, they jack him right into the, to oh, the, yeah. matri so or his, the Matrix training program again. Yeah, his mind is starting to go, and they're like, let's, let's plug him in and <laughs> have him talk to fake. Because he's like, oh. <laughs> yeah, so they put him into the construct where he meets the fake Morpheus. I remember this. Again. He's like, hey, I've been hanging out in the ship's programming. What's up? Uh, let me remind you of who you are. Remember when we did Kung Fu? You still know it? Yeah, that's like, his yeah, thing. He's like, hey, Kung so you're Fu. dying, so I gotta save you with the power of Kung Fu. He beats the shit out of him. What do you know? It works. Yeah, he does. It, now he, I know. Now I know. If I'm not feeling well, I'm just gonna do Kung Fu. That There you go. I don't know how to do Kung Get Fu. Get your ass kicked, and then it'll unleash your <laughs> inner power that you forgot that you had. <laughs> Yeah, so it actually works. He does his kung fu, and he's got magic again. Um, every every time <laughs> Neo uses his magic, it's just like oh, oh. a lot of Keanu Reeves doing this throughout the whole movie <laughs> and shit exploding. And yeah, so Neo wakes up. He's sad because he's like, and this is kind of I feel like this is making fun of the Star Wars thing where he's like. Well, I did all of that and it amounted to nothing. And they're like, yep, sure did. <laughs> well, no, she's like, actually, it did. <laughs> you find out because she goes on the ship. She introduces him to her totally forgettable crew that you'll never remember the names of. Um, and she's like, look, we actually work with machines now. Like the, the machines and people actually exist together because of what you did. They're they're like merged with people. No, they're they, not merged with people. No, they, they, they're like, they're sentient machines, but what is, what is the term they use? Oh, sentioids or something like something that. Something weird, but they're all like fucking fantasy, like bird characters and shit. Yeah. I was going to say, speaking of effects, like these effects look terrible. And I, robots are pretty easy to do these days. Like, sure. Look if, fucking Iron Man and the, even the shitty Transformer movies have decent looking robots, but these look like they're from 2003. <laughs> I'm well, like, this is awful. It's supposed to be that post-apocalyptic, like, low-tech but high-tech kind of thing. Still, we're still kind of trying to do that, maybe. I, I, One I, of these things look like it's from the fucking abyss, 
The yeah. one that turns invisible? Yes. Looks that like one's the alien. worst looking yeah. one. Like these robots look like the fucking gargoyles in the haunting remake <laughs> from the night from 99. Oh, oh no. Like that's on par with I'm like I mean this would have been cool Matrix 1 but these look really bad. I don't know man. I, I just don't know why they're trying to like work these in. They're trying to establish the fact that like the people have made peace with the well, robots. Yeah, because that was like the lesson Neo was learning is like yeah. uh, we need machines and machines need us. Yeah. We need to work together. Yeah. And it's like hey what you did actually worked. People are working together with machines. Not all of them. And even like so but so, they're like uh, they're like these Doctor Robotnik or yeah. fucking Eggman creations. So Morpheus shows up, yeah. looking like John Connor from Terminator Genesis. Oh my dude, he looks like one of those fucking pin art yeah. things that you put your hand and your face in yes. when you were a kid. Yes. Uh, so he shows up, which reminds me of Man of Steel, and please don't remind me of Man of Steel. <laughs> um, and he's like, "Hey, I th he has a line where he's like, hey, not all like programs want to control, but we all long to be free or something like right, that.' Right, right. It's it's something like." Um, yeah. You know, the machines like weaponized every idea and every dream or whatever and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Uh, so it's because uh, they don't want it to be like, we beat the emperor. <laughs> LOL. He was on another planet. <laughs> they rebuilt him. Yeah. And uh, we killed all the stormtroopers. LOL. There's other stormtroopers <laughs> like, OK, well, uh, I don't know, dude. We get a little uh, Rogue One at the end of this, too. <laughs> yeah. Big time. Um, But I, I think they were trying to show, like, no, what he did actually, yes, sure, everything's going to shit again, but he had some effect. When you watch the Star Wars sequel trilogy, it's like, so what exactly did they do? Like, it's also the thing of, like, there's so many people in the galaxy yeah. that that. I believe it. Empires rise and fall all the time. Used yeah. to rise and fall all the but it's time. Like, all right, you brought the Republic back, and then they didn't take a threat about stormtroopers seriously. It's like I feel like that should have been the most. Also, how do they not? That's how they took over in the first place, Tone. But also, it's like, <laughs> wait, the Republic just doesn't have stormtroopers. Wouldn't they have gotten all that military? <laughs> so stupid. They're decommissioned. Um, I don't know. Yeah. So he tells her, like, hey, I think Trinity was in there, and they're like, hey, it might be her, but. Like that was like a one in a million getting you out of there, and they've upped their security. <laughs> he see, he's like this fucking robot's got him, and he's flying yeah. over, and he's like, "Ooh, oh, Trinity!" Yeah. And she's like in her pod, and the whole his whole point is like, well, "We got to go back, yeah, and get her, yeah." And they're like, "Why?" And he's like, "Cause I love her, <laughs> because I love her, or something, or something. <laughs> because it doesn't fucking matter." Like, why is uh. like? Like, they literally go back... Well, uh, we'll get to it. Sorry, you know there's what, a lot to unpack on You know this. what a lot of people didn't like what? in the sequels? Zion. Anyway, we go to the new city, <laughs> Io. Uh, which which iOS is this? <laughs> I don't know. There's like a fucking... They're like, they're like, you know, you did make a difference. Um... We teamed up with the with the robots, and they gave us hologram technology so we can yeah. hide from the bad ones. And then we have Bio Sky that the synthioids made. That's kind of cool. Bio Sky, it's kind of cool. I'm kind of into that, but we don't talk about it nearly enough. They're like, yeah, yeah it's like the real sky, but not in water and grass and shit. Whatever. We made a strawberry. Yeah. With uh, the <laughs> with the ant from Family Matter. <laughs> see ya. We never talk about it again. <gasps> you know who we do? We see. We see Niobe. This threw me for a loop, dude. Yeah. I had no idea Jada Pinkett was coming uh, back. You didn't? She was in a couple of the trailers. I only saw the first trailer for this. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Uh, so Niobe's there, uh, and she's very elderly, and she's from Zion. Well, it's been 60 years since yes. you beat the Matrix the first time. Yes, and she's very upset that people aren't following her protocols. So the protocols of the elders of Zion are very important <laughs> to... Uh, Jada Pinkett Smith. Um, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that. I'm like, guys, you're walking into a trap here. Like this, <laughs> some asshole like me is going to make a joke about this, you idiots. Why would you write that? I think they knew exactly what they were doing. They wanted people yeah. to like, okay, okay. Um, Judging by the rest of this film, <laughs> I'm going to say that was a, uh, a conscious choice. Yeah. So now she's the hard ass general. What? Oh, we forgot to mention one of the girls on Bugs's ship is related to one of the generals that you didn't care about. In yeah, she's like, film. remember that guy that shot the thing at the Sentinels? No, it wasn't him. It wasn't him? No, it was the pilot of one of the ships. One of the really white pilots from the <laughs> ship. No, it's not. Yeah. I think Keanu's like, who? Oh. Like, that was my grandfather. Yeah, it's like, okay. I remember. He's no. Like, he's like, oh, yeah, that guy didn't like me. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. You're uh, glad to keep the memory of your father alive. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so she tells, she gets him up to date. She's like, hey, look, this is Io. 
Uh, we all assumed that you ended the war because the Sentinels left. People started getting free from the Matrix. Morpheus became the king or Morpheus whatever. Morpheus became the head of the elders of Zion. Yep. Uh, again, it's a little problematic. Uh, I'm wondering uh, how they got around that. <laughs> but she's basically like, get the fuck out of here. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're going to well, bring the shit storm back well, she, with you. It's kind of interesting what she says happened in the meantime. Yeah. We're interesting in the Star Wars sequels. Well, it's like, agreed. Yeah, because so many minds were getting freed because they honored the agreement. Mm -hmm. there, there was a power like no one was the, the machines weren't getting enough power. So they started going to war with themselves. Yeah. But then apparently Zion didn't want to live in a future where they worked with the machines and then they failed. I, I guess because they just continue the war instead of just... It was very much like the the nice machines and the nice people were like, no, we're going to fuck, fuck you guys. We're going to go over yeah. here. And then like, all right, we're... And then they, you know, battle yeah, to the death. Yeah, because she's like, they had a us or them mentality and this right. new world is us and them. It's all about working together. Yeah, and keeping themselves hidden. That's Which I relate thing. to this. Not the hitting part. No, I relate to the whole like, hey, you know, I got, uh, I got friends on both sides of different topics and oh, spectrums. Oh, sure. And uh, I want to hang out with both of them. And you're the Switzerland they, robot, yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and but but then there's other people that are like, nope, it's one or it's all or nothing. It's like, well, I don't really fit into that. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna so, go save my girlfriend. Also, this part's weird. She's like, well, by the way, the statue of shirtless Morpheus with the robe. I'm like, I don't know if that's how he wants to be remembered. I kind of love it though. <laughs> it's funny as hell. It's like, oh, there he is, Larry's again and again. <laughs> Larry, Larry, <laughs> good old Larry Fish. Forget Fisher. that's how he was credited for a lot of. Oh movies. yeah, big time. Uh, I only know. I mean, I'm, I know that specifically yeah. from like Dream Warriors. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so she's. She also says, like, by the way, the Oracle, who's dead now, because this new Matrix yeah. purged programs from the previous one. Okay. Not only did it. Cause we're going to talk about that because not only did it purge the Oracle, but it purged like all of the agents too, right? And the architect and, and everything. And the architect and everybody. Yeah, so they're so all who the gone. fuck is the guy who is the butt? <laughs> but the girl is just like, uh, yeah, the Oracle kept warning him that there was something new coming and he was like, nah, not going to look into it. And it's like, and then we never heard from her again. Well, a new power coming or a new energy. Yeah. Now, is that supposed to be, what the fuck's his name? The analyst? Is yeah, that, I think is it's that the analyst to be the in analyst? his version of the Matrix. Okay, yeah. but that's not necessarily a new power. It's just a new version. Well, I, I'll get into that. I'll get okay. into that because they explained it and it's overly convoluted. Okay. Uh, yeah, so fucking. Um, I only saw this once. Tony yeah. watched it twice. <laughs> she arrests him. She throws him right in the dungeon. Yeah. Yeah. And then Morpheus breaks him out. Like five seconds later, mind you, Morpheus again. He's like that pins and needles thing, the needle yeah. toy, and he can like. Oh, what go did say? My friend Dick watch it. He was live tweeting watching it. He yeah. absolutely hated it. <laughs> he kept saying, and I don't really know the show very well, but I know this reference. He kept saying Morpheus is like one million ants from Rick and Morty. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's he like it's through the tunnels and shit. Yeah, and he, he like that character that's just a million ants yeah. in the shape of a human. <laughs> he's fucking emo tep dude, coming through the keyhole. <laughs> Like I said, the, the whole nano dust, I'm like, that was Sean Connor in Terminator Genesis, that weird fucking robot thing. Yeah. Doing, um, well, the, we're, we already ripped off Terminator in the other one. Yeah. And, you know what I mean? So it might as well just go full. And I mean, it. Terminator's not innocent of ripping off things. There's this a reason. Also, I know. There's a reason that guy gets a credit at the end of the first Terminator <laughs> this, this, this movie. sci-fi writer, I forget yeah. his name. Um, yeah, so the, the, he, they escape. And even Niobe's like, son of a bitch. And then her friend's like, ah, oh, relax. You knew they were going to do it, you idiot. <laughs> yeah, Rachel from Family Matters yeah. is like, don't worry about it. Oh, and actually, before he gets a, in between getting arrested and escaping, the one guy's like, hey, I'm a big fan of yours. And also, like, after a while, like, people didn't want to be freed from the Matrix. I don't blame him. Like they were I'm, like, I'm on board with Joey Pants, dude. I want to eat we, a steak. We mentioned, we mentioned this in the previous episode. Oh, he eats a steak earlier yeah, in the film. Yeah. You notice that? Yeah. Uh, I mentioned this. And ramen he eats. And yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm not giving that up. I mentioned the previous episode, like the whole like, oh, no one could be told what the Matrix is. And I was like, my theory is that they would go up to people. I'm like, all right, so the real world, we're constantly being hunted by robots and everything sucks. And they're like, now I'm good where I am. That's you why, have fun with that. That's why Joey Pants is like, yeah, it was all bullshit. <laughs> Fucking Morpheus <laughs> brought me here to whatever. <laughs> And he's like, well, I couldn't just oh. tell you about it. You had to see the shitstorm for yourself. <laughs> you are the one, Neo. Yeah, so they enter the Matrix to search for Trinity. Again, why? Because like, he's got to break her out because he loves her. Who fucking cares? He they loves her. They shoot Neo. They don't even need to bring him out of the Matrix. Now, nah, he's got to get Neo, but someone's waiting for them. Smith, who has all his memories back. 
And uh, and he has a lot of revenge stuff. But he's like, hey, look, I need you to leave. He's also a program. He's also the same program, but like a new version of Smith. this. This I didn't like. First off, like, I mean, if, if you can't if you can't get Hugo Weaving back, just don't even bother. <laughs> Like, don't, that's too big of a character. Don't even bother. I, he's only there, like, sometimes, too. Yeah. Right? He's such a tertiary character in this, he doesn't even need to be there. But he doesn't even act like Smith, really? No. And I know he's, like, a new version. But he should at least talk like this. You know yeah. what I mean? And he well, I, I get, like, having a little bit... Because toward the end, Smith was getting more of a personality because he was free from the program. Sure. So basically, Smith... Which, by the way, I have a huge problem with him even existing because the whole point of the agreement was that they were going to trap him in Neo's body and completely purge him from the... So the virus is dead. Yeah. But Isn't now, that what happened? Now they're saying that, like, him being reborn also brought back Smith. And then the analyst, who we find out is in control of all of this, yeah. linked them together and oh chained them together. Oh, my God, I forgot together. about that. But now, like, once Neo was woken up from the Matrix, Smith was also freed. And Smith doesn't like to be like that. That was Smith's whole problem. Like once Neo kind of like mm. ne remember, like the Smith's whole thing in the first one was, I don't want to exist anymore. Yeah, let me the fuck out. of. I want the Matrix. I want to bring it yeah. down so I can get out. And I then don't be after here. he mixed with Neo and he's this like, stink. I am the Matrix. Like I need to be everything and I need to be make it to the real world and make it in my image. Yeah. So he's back. He's like, hey, I want to go back to my old plans. But this analyst sucks. And if you're here. That gives him more power. So I need you to fuck off, Neo. And Neo's like, I love Trinity too much. He's like, God damn it. <laughs> like, he is like the arc reactor for the Matrix. <laughs> like, both of them. And I yeah. don't really understand it because they never really explain it. They try to. It's so, so stupid. It's dumb. But. Sorry. Uh, because he kind of predicted that Neo wasn't going to do this. He is, has no choice but to kill him. He's like, hey, he's like, I, I don't want to be a slave to this guy, but my freedom depends on. He's pretty on diplomatic you. about it. He's like, look. He's like, hey, I hate you and want to kill you. But if you leave, we're cool. We're cool. No we're big cool. deal. I just want out again. We're cool. <laughs> uh, but he brought back some friends. Some rogue programs that survived the purge. And the, it's the French, the French guy. The, yeah. the Merovingian <laughs> who I love. Yeah, Keanu's reaction to him is how I feel like most people who remember that character went, oh, this fucking this guy. Fucking guy. Yeah. so fucking annoying. He, there's this whole fight sequence that's very kind of like, eh? Yeah. Uh, it's it's real close quarters combat stuff, yeah, but it's, it's, and not it's not impressive. shot particularly well at all. And I love him monologuing. Yeah, the whole I'm time he's like, he's like, "This Matrix sucks." Yeah. My, I, I hate said, this reboot. And I said, "I said like he's supposed to mimic like the aging hipster yeah. that hates all new things." Yeah. And I'm like, "I get it." Some people say he's even dressed I, like what? <laughs> yeah, some people say I fall into that category. Uh, oh, an aging hipster? An aging hipster who hates new things. Even though I like a lot of new things. I just don't like new bad things. Like Ghostbusters Afterlife. Anyway, so they brought back other rogue programs that hit the purge, but they're just like people who dress like the Lost Boys from Hook. That's why I didn't get them. I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember. I'm like, who the fuck are they? Are these the guys from like the fucking Chateau fight? Like, who are these people? Why not like go crazy? Like, remember the ghosts? Yeah. Like, bring something similar like know. that? They look like the fucking, the ones that Shang Tsung brings out of the ground at the end of Mortal yeah. Kombat. I'm like, what the fuck is this? But like, one of my problems with Go uh, Matrix Reloaded was like, they had werewolves, but they never turned into werewolves. This, you could have had werewolves. You, you could have had monsters. literally whatever you wanted. Yeah, because that was the whole thing. The Merovingian was a rogue program yeah. that would like shuffle programs in and out of the Matrix. Sure. But I guess this new Matrix put an end to that. Why and wasn't he purged? Well, he, he knew how to escape it and survive. Oh, gotcha. That Because remember, that was the thing. Like, the werewolves and stuff were from previous Matrixes that he would, like, hide. Right. Yeah. But that's weird to me because... Again, the thing with the analyst. Is he a fucking program? Or how does he exist? If the Matrix is purged and rebooted and, and another He's version is made... architect. Yeah, but that doesn't fucking... Was he a, is he a robot in the real world is what I'm saying. I, I'm sure he can be. Can he like jump into them? You I'm think? Sure they, I'm sure they. I guess. I'm sure like a lot of them can. I don't know. I, there's programs that are stuck in the Matrix, like yeah. Smith and all was, but there's probably bigger programs that can go in and out. So it's just like a f matter of a firewall in the I Matrix. Guess? I don't know. I don't <laughs> like, know. Remember, there were like a bunch of robots that made a baby face at the end of Revolution. Oh like, Re yeah. Re Re uh, whatever it was called, Revolutions. Um, don't need it. So yeah, they're fighting, and it's uh, one of the worst uh, fights Smith and Anderson have ever had. Smith and Neo have ever had. 
it's just like whatever like the, nothing cool is happening nothing's cool is happening and it's just throwing him into like a wall and then like he does that like crazy super punch again that yeah. he does in the first movie like the fight is just very like okay like this is fine for like a marvel movie and not middle. even for a marvel movie dude yeah, like as like I said, the fight scenes are just so average. They're not crazy and they're not comically bad, so I can't get into it. The choreography isn't great, and mm. a lot of this stuff again, it's very close up shots yeah. of the combat. So it's like trying to be more kinetic. Yeah. In lieu of having better fight choreography, I yeah. feel like, you know. Yeah. But don't worry, he still knows Kung Fu. <laughs> I still know Kung Fu. Yeah, so he like uh throws Smith through a wall. And the fight's done, and the Frenchman's like, fuck this sequel reboot <laughs> spinoff. I'm going to make my own Matrix or something. Oh, God. The, uh, here it comes. The Frenchman's uh, Matrix. Yeah. Oh, God. Gonna, is that going to be a spinoff back. cartoon? Yeah. So, I, I love that he has to hide so much that he can't, like, dress fancy and whatnot, because <laughs> I'm sure the analyst is like, I know that fucker's in here somewhere. <laughs> like, he always gets in and out. I'll get him. Uh -huh. um, so, yeah, he goes to visit Trinity. And, like, explain to her what's happening. She doesn't believe it. And then Neil Patrick Harris shows up. She's working on a motorcycle. And I'm yes. like, again, yes. soccer mom lady who we just saw before who's buying, like, fucking croissants for a little piece of shit kids and her <laughs> chad husband. And she's like, you know, got the whole fucking overalls on, the greasy yeah. hands. And I'm like, this isn't even the same person. <laughs> what are you fucking doing? I know. So uh, the analyst shows up and uh, turns out he has access to bullet time. Oh, that's a new thing that he implemented into this yes, Matrix version. Yes, it's like, I'm version. using your own power against you. Haha, -ha, with so, really bad slow-mo. So he, by the way, he sucks, Neil Patrick Harris in this. I think he's fine. What I think happened was, since he's the new architect, one of the complaints about the other one was like, man, all those scenes of the architect were fucking boring as shit. That guy was so fucking monotone and shitty. So they're like, we're going to... O overcorrect Jesse. that yeah. but they went too far where it's like this is real fucking crap when he's like swarm mode is sick i'm like what is this 2006 <laughs> what the fuck is it's this real oh that the writing is fucking cringe yeah. for sure so he is so he was there when it's supposed to be like that don't yeah it? so what happens what we learn here he was there when neo died yes he convinced apparently there's a hierarchy of robots maybe it was the giant baby face robot he convinced them to keep him and Trinity alive mm -hmm. or to re to resurrect them. He convinced them to keep their bodies because he was convinced that their hard code yeah. was in their body. Crucial to because remember, the Matrix. Toward the end, Neo was able to interact with machines in yeah. the real world. Oh yeah, and he fucking stopped them. Yeah. Which he Look if doesn't do in this, but okay. He's We'll get to that. Anyway. Uh, so he's like, basically, like, yeah, so I brought you guys back. It took a really long time. Some of you remember, but Neo didn't have eyes by the end of that movie. <laughs> oh, they're fucking putting him together yeah. like Jason X, dude, and with the nanobots. And they're torturing the shit out of him. So dude, what the does analyst, he say? Uh, uh, pain, pain, yeah. and, uh, pain and yearning. So Something or like the same code. I forget so what he hated uh, the architect. He's like, he was so obsessed with facts, facts and he didn't realize that humans don't care about facts. They care about feelings. So it's like, so this yeah. new Matrix is whatever. The only reality that exists, Tony, is the one in our heads. Yes. Right? And uh, he tells him, like, all right, so this whole reality is kind of being powered by you two. Sort of. That is the worst idea. Like, like it is based, well, it's powered by everyone else, but it's based off their pain and yearning. So everyone in the Matrix is also yearning for things they can't quite have. Yeah, forbidden loves and all because kinds of like that. Because... It's to stress them out because when they're stressed out, they give out more they energy. They produce more energy, which makes sense. I mean, it kind of does. it's like, all right, that's a bit of a fucking... Sh okay. I, I mean, I, I guess it kind of does. Like, I, I get what you're trying to do, movie, but when you really think about it, you're like, this is fucking stupid. <laughs> it's about a fucking computer program that we're living in yeah. to power fucking robots, don't Yeah, Yeah, but like, and he's like, well, now that you've been gone, it's been unstabling the thing it's destabilizing because they need he needs both components because it's part yes. of the code that he's written for the new matrix yes and, it's and like, also with that was a bad idea anyway yeah to, and to also it's like oh by the way i didn't realize smith was gonna come back <laughs> that's a problem i kind of need you here you're kind of the only thing that can stop him so yeah he's basically like hey so you need to come back or she'll die and he almost kills her with the bullet this yeah. is where he, he explains that there's just bots the all Matrix over the place, flooded yeah. with bots. Swarm mode, dude. And they all have handlers who could be activated at any time. Yeah. 
It's pretty neat, like when he stops the bullet or whatever. Yeah. Why does this bullet time look like shit? Okay. It does suck. Like we just had the flash. We had how many times did we have we done the flash? Or yeah. Quicksilver and all yeah. that cool stuff. And this looks like ass. Like I, I really hated the, the way he choppy slow mo. I hated the way he moved around and all that. Oh, stuff. some of the green screen in this movie is bad. Real bad. Like, like unforgivingly the room, so. I could see like weird artifacts. Like yeah. not artifacts, but like it just it didn't even look as good as the previous no. Matrix. No. Um yeah, so the, he needs a back. They eventually get out of there. Desire and fear. Yes. That's what runs Neo just leaves how do they get out I, uh, they walk in they're like all right let's get out no uh, it, that's what it is yeah. they just un uh, you can unplug in this one like it, no, you, you need to go through a mirror first you don't have to yeah you do mm. no that's why they're always looking mm. for mirrors i think it's assumed they found a mirror they just didn't show it I, I, there's a couple times where they don't show like at the end they don't show how they got out. No, that's just, what I that's what I mean. You're supposed to assume they found some kind of mirror or something and got I'm out. I'm saying they gave up as at a certain point to find you know we were always adamant about finding that phone. Yeah. Right? But now it's like yeah, there's a mirror. There's a fucking mirror over there or something. There's a reflective <sighs> surface. Jump into it. Yeah. So they go back to IO and they get court martialed and then a bird robot shows up. Un Unjaku. When does this plush come out? This is the one that looks like the fucking yeah. abyss uh, alien. Yes. Uh, so it is. So the it's a robot that houses a construct with a program, and it can also bring you in and out of the matrix. And that program is Satine, mm. the little girl from two or no from three. How did she get in there? I'm sure she says like Kujaku saved me. Uh, yeah. So because it like uploaded her to yeah. itself. So I what guess. we find out is yeah. that the higher ups, because the matrix is now unstable, they are going to purge it and reinstall the previous version of the matrix. So I <laughs> guess it sounds like a fucking windows problem. Dude. Yeah, so like, <laughs> do, do they just have like the architect on a flash drive somewhere? Wait, yeah. Back up with time machine. Yeah. yeah. He's sitting there. He's like, I still can't fix the anomaly. Mm. And the Oracle's like, want some cookies? <laughs> um, yeah, so they're just sitting on a hard drive somewhere, I guess. They're like, hey, they're going to reinstall it because it's unstable. Uh, but the analyst uh, assured them that you were going to come back because he knows how much you love Trinity. Dumb. So and you know, it, hold yeah. on. Don't forget that her father built those pods. Yes. Now, her father's a program. Yes, who left the Matrix. Remember, he hid Satine in the Matrix yes, yes. and then went back to the source. And yeah. I guess they reassigned him and his wife. This is some Galen Jinner so bullshit, yeah. man. So he, he was he put he put the 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 vent in the Death I hate Star. That Rogue One. <laughs> I'm like, well, that kind of makes it less cool. I kind of like it. I like that they just found this flaw in this overconfident thing. I don't like that the guy designed a flaw. I'm like, well, that makes it less special. Well, he's the first rebel, man stupid that's kind of cool it, it's yeah. just the fact that like we're doing that in this like big time yeah she's like so my father was in charge of uh rebuilding you and he felt guilty about it because he realized what they were going to use you for he gave me the so he built a vent right on your <laughs> fucking pod so they can get in yes basically <laughs> um that is really that's true. what i'm saying dude there literally is a vent yeah <laughs> <laughs> None of the other robots the, were like, that doesn't make sense. Use the force, What's Morpheus. That there for? Um, so yeah, she tells him, like, yeah, so he built you, he felt guilty, he gave me the information, then he was purged. Yes. Along with my mom, but I escaped into Kujaku. Sucked him up through the tube. Yeah, and like I said, this, whatever she's in can transport her to the Matrix, that's where she spies on Neo. Sure. Uh, and also she tells Naomi, she's like, yeah, I know the whole time. Sorry, I didn't tell you. What are you going to do? Um, we, I didn't know he was going to get let out. <laughs> yeah. So they hatch a plan to save Trinity. Yeah. Why? Because because uh, to, Neo loves her. Gotcha. Yes. There is a little bit of like, well, we want to destabilize the Matrix and like destroy it and reboot it. But Neo loves Trinity. That's yeah. why we're going in, right? <laughs> yeah, that's why. <laughs> so they got to save Trinity uh, and they have a whole plan. They're like, look, we're going <sighs> to... We're gonna send. We're, we're gonna, gonna send. Put, we're gonna give. We're gonna give vision to Shuri, and she's gonna cut the little. She's gonna cut the mind stone out of his head. Yeah. So, so it's like, all right. So Morphe, it's like, it becomes like a heist movie, and then it's I, and then I, and then Star I started Wars getting an end game put together. I started getting into it at this point because I love heist and Mission yeah. Impossible stuff. So yeah, they're like, all right, Morpheus, you're gonna ride onto a baby pod, and you're gonna jump through a force field that won't melt you. 
and escape two sentinels, and you're going to go into Neo's pod and go turn th- off something. You're going to go through the Galen Urso vent. Oh, so then, so you find out that they are so dangerous because I joked about this in the previous one, like when they get, they just get flushed into water, and then I guess yeah, I they, like, like that though. And I guess they like die, and then the, they drift off somewhere and get repurposed. They drown. But this on one, way. I guess, because Trinity and Neo is so dangerous that right next to their pods. There's just a tunnel with just blades that yeah. will grind them up. Like again, it's like, no, we can't risk this. There's also no flush mechanism for them, right? There's no there's no there's I no handle. That tube opens and they just get they just get dumped out. <laughs> yeah. So because they, he gets carried out. So he turns yeah. that off. They she flies the walrus through the thing because at some point they're gonna need a bypass. So they use they use bugs because her brain matches. Or whatever, like or whatever, <laughs> like it's very much whatever because, like, yeah. Again, they're trying to ditch the idea that all the other rules, but oh shit, we can't do this one because she'll totally die if we unplug her, right? Yeah. So instead of just having the machine plug it in and yeah. just take her out of there, it's like this convoluted shit where they have to like plug in bugs while Trinity's plugged in because now there's two outlets on the yes. back of their head. Oh, they also have butt outlets too in this one. We forgot oh, to mention, that? dude, when Neo gets dropped in first, and he, right on his face on the thing, he's yeah. got a fucking butt uh, tube, I guess. That's pretty funny. Takes his shit out or something. But yeah, so yeah, there's this whole complicated where they have to like, you know, put multiple feeds and stuff yeah. in to get her out. That's sure. part of the plan. And she still needs to choose because an uncertain mind will break in the process. <sighs> but she doesn't need the red pill. No. But it still needs to be a choice. So that's the thing. They're like, but gonna... it's not the same thing. So they're working. They're rocking in. I get they don't need the red pill because they don't need to ro- locate her pod. No, they, they know have where her. it is. Sure, but like they also need. Th- mm. It's also like a totem of your agreement too. Yeah, I guess you so. know what I mean. Like, okay, here we go. It's like the are you sure? Click yes or no. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. You sure you want to delete this yeah. file? Yes. So that's part of the thing. Um, they go into the matrix. And he meets with the analyst. All and the, the analyst is there with all his bots. <laughs> all the while, yeah. uh, Chickadee has like, she's like coming out of that uh, Unjaku robot, whatever yeah. the fuck it's called. And she's like, she opens up Trinity's uh, oh, yeah, the plug, plug. And again, she's like, she's performing surgery to undo it from the thing. Just like the fucking Mind Stone yes. on, on, uh, on Vision. Yes. And at no point. Do they have a sentinel just in the room going, hey, what's going on? Yeah, maybe we should check them or something. What's up? <laughs> oh, shit, look at that. <laughs> you know, Trying ne- to wake up Trinity. <laughs> Neo's in the Matrix right now. Yeah. Talking to the analyst. Yeah. Go on. Oh, yeah, he should have just sentinels all around her pod in case she says yes, and they're just ready to shoot her. He like- is so sure of himself. Yeah. I mean, it's good to have confidence. I guess. I wish I had that confidence in my life. But he's also a computer program. Like, if this was Skynet, they wouldn't make this fucking mistake, right? <laughs> well, Skynet made a ton of mistakes. I know too. it made a ton of mistakes, but it couldn't think emotionally. And now he's, like, overcompensating. Yeah. Because now he's got, like, the big He really complex. is over. Overco- he's, <laughs> yeah. like, the anti-architect. Yeah, yeah. It's like, all right, you kind of fucked this up. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to prey on their love for each other, but it's going to backfire. Yeah. So he meets with Trinity. Yeah, and it convinces her to unplug. She's like, "I'm not Trinity. I don't know what you're talking about. This is weird." And then her family comes in. They're like, "Our sister, who we haven't shown, is hurt." Oh, I thought it was a dog. Our dog got hit by a car. Or they're something at, like they're that. They're at the hospital. You gotta come with us, mom. Like, you gotta come, mom. And Chad's like, "Come on, Tiffany." Tiffany. And then uh, what'd you call it? And she's just like, my name is Trinity. <laughs> my name is Horace. And she shoots him with a shotgun in his fucking face. It's like, I wish you'd stop fucking calling me that. It's like, <laughs> okay. That was enough to wake you up? Yeah. And then the analyst is shocked by this. Because she made one decision, then she immediately changed her mind. I'm like, yeah, do you not know women that well? Like, yeah. what the hell's wrong with you, analyst? Like, <laughs> That's another thing with, the, yeah. the, the, you know, the whole identity thing where, like, I identify as this person and you're calling me something else that I'm clearly Oh, not. I just thought it was women being indecisive. No. Have you ever been to a restaurant with one? I mean, it's <laughs> like, I don't know if I want um, the burger or this. I'm like, all right, we'll just pick one. Yeah, but do I want this? Because I'm like. That's when you mean? say, okay, you get that and I'll get this and we'll share it. Yeah, but then they're like, no, nah, I don't want it. <laughs> there was one girlfriend where I would literally just, when she gave me an option, I would just pick one right away because I knew she would pick the opposite. <sighs> how about just, having a, 
How about having a girlfriend who didn't fucking eat anything that you ate? So, like, you couldn't go out to restaurants? Yeah. That sucks. So, see, the analyst, I should have been there. I could have told the analyst, I'm like, hey, she's going to change her mind five seconds <laughs> later. <laughs> but, like, he was banking on her walking out of the door, and he was yeah. like, oh, fuck. Well, oh, but you don't really don't... know people, do you? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so he freezes everything. And bullet, he's like, well, I TM. fucked up. Uh, yeah. I thought I had that one in the bag, but I can't let you guys leave. So he cheated, and he, yeah. st- he initiates bullet time. Yes, he initiates bullet time. But guess who's immune to bullet time? <laughs> I do like the, the eyes. Uh, uh, Agent Smith. Yes, Agent Smith is just walks in like, hey, buddy. And he's like, oh, he's a, because he, I guess because he is a virus that has part of Neo's source code in him. That's what he says. Or, but like, all right. So I guess Neo is at the will of the architect in this new matrix. But Smith, because he started as a program for their computers, he can like override certain things. So Smith is completely immune to this. I I guess. And viruses grow and adapt and all that kind of stuff. So I, Uh, I, I can buy it. Sure. So he helps Neo get rid of, by the way. So the analyst is trying to get his cat deja vu like he needs the cat to do something there's something with the cat specifically because they even do that in the, in the beginning of the movie too where it's like yeah. listen to the bill or whatever so there's something yeah. where the i don't know they don't explain they it don't but it's something it. with the cat you, this is also weird it's like, they, it's like his back door right also at out. this point they started making like the analysts like super sexist and misogynistic where he's like oh, women used to be so much easier to control i'm like in this matrix future were they like uh, that feels like it's the writer putting real world stuff in it to get like feminists happy i'm like yeah but that doesn't really make sense in the context of this movie like this universe again also you're a fucking computer program like yeah i'm just like i haven't I don't at know. this point aren't the, the regardless of gender aren't they the same amount correct equal to control and you're talking about source code and all this other bullshit way, and you're like man women they've been doing that yeah am yeah, i right yeah they've been doing this for hundreds of years we find out <laughs> i know that we the find other out thing. and reload it they're like oh no it's not been a hundred years yeah. we've destroyed zion like seven times this yeah been going on it for just a, keeps happening this goes on for a really long time and you guys start over again like they should know humans inside and out by now. <laughs> but yeah, the weird, like, I'm like, I feel like the whole sexism, classism thing for... The, the, it's completely null and void when yeah, it, come, when it comes to that. It's weird. And who is he Who is he commentating to himself? You know what I, I mean? Guess? He's it's not weird. even, like, making fun of them for being <sighs> yeah, so humans, you know? It's so know. weird. But then uh, Smith shoots him, which disappears him. Uh, again, we're doing that thing where, like, we're blowing holes in him and it's, like, T-1000, but yeah. it's, like, source code. Yeah, and uh, and he dies. Yeah, but he doesn't. Well, he he basically says like initiate swarm, and also like he apparently also told like the higher ups like, hey, don't unplug my matrix yet. I got this. I got this. <laughs> I got this. And they're like, you sure? Because it looks like it's falling to shit. He's like, don't worry, I got this. It's still good. I can fix it. I can fix it. <laughs> don't worry, I can fix it. It's like, well, it's on fire. Like oh, I know. <laughs> uh, but he initiates swarm mode. A super swarm mode. Smith initiates it. No, Smith doesn't. He doesn't. The analyst says it right before he gets oh, shot. Oh, I thought Sm- I thought this was Smith. Doing no, this. no. The whole thing with Smith is like, oh, by the way, because Smith can still jump the bodies. Like yeah. he was in the bartender's body. Yeah, no, that's what I thought. Yeah. And I, I thought no, he no, was no, like, Smith. I'm taking this shit over. Oh, no, Smith got the fuck out. Of oh there. man, that's even dumber. <laughs> no, Smith is like, oh, there's gonna be a lot of swarm. I'm out. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> and the dude's like, where did I get here? Yeah. So he uh, activates swarm mode. Uh, Neo can't fly. I did like this scene. We're like, can you fly? And the music, like, the music gets all, like, fucked yeah. up because he can't. And he hits the thing and doesn't <laughs> take off. Again, it kind of reminded me of the comic um, Up, Up, and Away. The Superman comic. Mm-hmm. It's uh, after the year where he lost his powers. I don't like Superman. I, I mean, I wasn't asking if you. Oh, liked I'm just it. telling I you. I was just telling you. Well, you were telling me like I knew about it, and I don't know about. No, I was about to explain it. To oh, you. okay. And you interrupted me. Sorry. By being very rude about your dislike for one of the greatest American uh, comic icons of all time. So anyway, tell me about how he can't fly. Yes. So you know they did the Infinite Crisis, and then they jumped a year ahead, DC, mm-hmm. and it's like, hey, for this year, Batman's been away. This year, this person's doing this, and you find out for a year, Superman didn't have powers. Okay. And this whole book is, is about, like, his powers slowly coming back. So, like, this kind of felt like that where Neo can do 
some of this stuff, but not all of it. Like it's got to come back to him slowly uh, again. Oh, it's the extent of this, and that yeah. and that is to block bullets, to divert missiles, yes, and create a shield and kung fu a little bit better, kind of. Yes. Uh, so they all like split up. A bunch of people get into like a van. I don't care. By the way, I do not care about any of the crew in this. Uh, uh, like, like, by the way, none of them die. No, like I swore, and it's also a zombie movie now. I swore oh, the yeah, swarm is. Big zombies, oh. were, which reminded me of Left 4 Dead. I, yeah. I swore the Left 4 Dead zombies were going to eat like the crew, but none of them die in the first Matrix. They all fucking die. Yeah, I know. It was like some. It was like some kind of like Twenty Eight Days Later shit. And yeah. there's scenes where these things are like busting into the car and like I don't know what suffocating them they're like stuffing themselves yeah, into the car it was weird and uh, yeah nobody does and like I said I can't remember any of their names I don't care about any of them they didn't impress me the one girl has some weird scene with Neo before they jump in the matrix is like I'm doing this for Trinity she's awesome and I'm like who are you I don't remember have you been in the movie the whole time uh, <laughs> so I know weird. there's a lot of neologists but I'm a Trinityologist uh, yeah so everyone is being activated. I like how the bots are jumping out of windows and shit. That was suicide. awesome. Okay. Because I love... All right. So the guy was a bot, but the girl must have been a human. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? That is, <laughs> that is some, like, they live shit, right? Yeah. And, like, he activates and he, like, just gets out of bed. She's like, huh, what? And he just yeah. fucking throws himself out the window. And it's just, like, body bombs, like, yeah. all over the street. They're yeah. turning into green goo and It was stuff. cool. It was cool. Uh, Yeah. So that was kind of cool. And, um, you know, I thought this was... This is pretty amazing, Joe. Go ahead. I couldn't have I this is pretty groundbreaking. So, like during the chase, you know, you think the chase is about to stop, there's a big explosion. Yeah. And then God bless Lana Wachowski. This is amazing. They made it look like the app you're watching crashed. <gasps> That's right. A, a big thing comes up that says Whoa. HBO Max error <laughs> restart uh, or close. I'm like, that is very meta. <laughs> That is very meta because you're watching this on an app. It's like, oh, what if the Matrix is getting so fucked up right. that the app you're actually watching crashes? And then your Matrix gets fucked up. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, wow. And I'm never the one where you're paying $10.99 a month yeah. for and this I'm app. Like, I can't believe like that's a clever detail that mm. they actually crash the app yeah. to simulate how the Matrix is breaking down. Uh, so I sat there for 30 minutes uh, waiting for the movie to continue. But they are so dedicated to this glitch thing. That I actually had to exit out of the app, oh. turn my TV off, turn it back on, and then start. And then, of course, it saved it at the wrong place. <laughs> so then I had to fast forward to where it originally stopped. And then you could watch the whole ending. I thought that was pretty. That, it's an immersive experience. It's Tony. very immersive. Yes. Lana Wachowski is a genius. Absolutely. I couldn't believe that. It made, it, like, I felt like I was in the Matrix at that point. Did that happen to you? You think that's air you're breathing? <laughs> You think that's an app? You're <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. They go to like a fucking building. They climb to the roof and they're like, I guess we're going to jump now. Also, I'm Trinity and I know everything. They're like, oh, here's helicopters. Just shoot them with missiles. And they like explode yeah. and they touch hands. Oh, and, and there's a big there's explosion. This whole thing where like they're both the one. Now? Like, what? What made it? Because, you know, there were previous oh, now ones. Now it makes sense. Well, kind there of. were previous anomalies. Yeah. That always chose to go through the one door back to the source code and right. whatnot. Mm -hmm. But his love for Trinity made him different, and part of his power is based off his love for her. Yeah, which I get. I got that in the original one, but now they're like, also, she's kind of the one. I'm like, now it just dawned on me. Now they are they were both rebuilt. Yeah, with a little bit of this source code and a little bit of this source code. So maybe they fucked up somewhere, and yes. it made them both powerful. He can't fucking fly until he she, can. She got that source code. Yes. <laughs> and then, so they both jump and then she can fly. Yeah. Hover. Also, they try to mimic uh, the helicopter shooting with the bullets raining down. Yeah. There's a lot of. There's a lot of bullet stopping and, and he diverts. How much do you think like, some of this was forced by the studio? They're like, you have to give us this shot. You have to give us that shot. This you feels like it's specif specifically because it just wants to fucking end and it won't. Yes. <laughs> uh, so we they have to have the SWAT team come up and the fucking helicopters and this yes. and that. And they get out of there. Yeah. And they wake up. They fly away into a mirror in the sky. <laughs> to the, that big mirror, mirror in the sky. <laughs> and then. Um, 
Of course, uh, Trinity, who hasn't used her legs in 60-something years, can just get up and walk over and kiss Neo. Totally fine. Even though they made a point to talk about how they have to, like, wake your muscles up. <laughs> and with all those fucking acupuncture things all over them? Yes. Yeah. <sighs> that really pissed me off. It just, it, they just were like, yeah, fuck it, yeah. wrap it up. So they're in love, and they're united. Mm-hmm. <sighs> and then they go back to the Matrix to fight Neil Patrick Harris. You, you you mentioned that people thought the interaction with the architect was super boring. Yes. You remain irrevocably human. Ergo, some of my answers you will understand, and some of them you will not. It's way better than this. Oh, I think this one was just a little too over the top. That's what I mean. Like oh, that, okay. that was like way yeah. better, like him explaining it yeah. and all that this shit. This scene feels very tacked on. This yes, scene here. That's exactly what I was going to say. Like, they realized, like, oh shit. We're supposed to be a girl power movie, but our like main girl has been a mom the whole time. We got to give her a girl power moment. So she flies in and it's funny seeing an older woman dressing up like what was cool in the 2000s, wearing the leather and stuff. I'm like, it hasn't aged well. Well, she's she likes that look, you know, she does, but it doesn't look cool. on like an older person. I'm like, I don't know. I think I, she looks great. I got to tell you. Yeah, she looks fine. Yeah. But even like Keanu, like the leather suit on him, like. Nah, I'm not feeling it. I'm sorry. <laughs> they could have done something they better. They don't look cool like me. No. Oh, gee. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so the they, lights explode. So everything they go explodes. to threaten the, the analyst. They kick his jaw off like she said she wanted to do. And then she can reset him. Does she reset him or does he reset himself? She does because she snaps. Oh, anyway. So she has some mm. superpower. So they're so they're all. They can control the Matrix. Now. They've been completely unlocked. They yep. can do anything. God mode. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, God like, mode, dude. Yeah. And he's like, oh, so you're going to unlock. Uh, you, he's like, you think you're going to strike up a deal with the higher ups and what? And I think they ask him, like, he's mm. still trying to keep his matrix going, even yeah. though the computers are like, no, this, this is not. We're done. This is done. We're uh, not here to negotiate. He's like, dude. oh, you're going to paint the sky with rainbows. rainbows. They want it. They want it points. They want it points. Uh, yeah, so they're like, no, we're not going to do that. Maybe we're, we will paint this guy yeah, with rainbows. They're like, we're going to free people's minds. And actually, the, the ending of this, I'm like, because that was my issue with two and three. The ending of one is Neo basically like, hey, I'm going to tell everyone like what they can do and can't do. I'm going to tell them that they're not slaves to your program. And then we never saw. But then he makes them slaves to the program. <laughs> but then in two and three, we never see like, they mention that they're freeing minds all the time, but we never see any of that. A little bit in the Animatrix. Yeah. But it's just like, I thought like there were going to be people flying around because Neo has like taught them how, but they never went and did that. Because there can only be, well, now there's two. Yeah. But, but now they're doing, th that's what this is kind of setting up for. It's like, hey, we're going to free everyone's mind in this new Matrix. Why do you want to wake these people up to a fucking shithole world? I don't understand that. I mean, it's better to wake up in this world where humans can work with machines. Just make it better for everybody in yeah, the Matrix. Yeah, well, here's the problem with this. <laughs> So are they going to try and make this fun utopia? Because that was a problem with the very first Matrix. They said they made a utopia. Yeah, Hugo Weaver was like, they, people kept waking up because they couldn't, you know, they need pain and they yeah, need they're suffering. Yeah, they're like, this, is, this isn't right. This isn't real. They, like, you do, you're like, you do need a little bit of conflict and stuff. Sure, but that doesn't mean, you know... It has to be shit. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, no, yeah, get, that's, get, get that's a, a, a bad hand dealt to you, you know? <sighs> Um, but yeah, so apparently they can't, I, there's a line where they can't purge the matrix because they need Neo and Trinity plugged in to do it because they contain the source code for this matrix. Yes. I guess. Yes. So yeah, uh, they're going to make a utopia that will fail. <laughs> um, it always does, right? Yeah. And then perpetually, they, and then they fly out into the sunset to a lady singing Rage Against the Machine. Woke! <laughs> Nobody should cover Rage Against the Machine. Rage Against the Machine shouldn't even cover Rage First Against the all. Machine. Second of all, this band is called Brass Against. Okay. And that's all they do is cover Rage Against the Machine songs and like heavy metal songs. So it's Is it a, like a ska cover? It's, no, it's like a glorified cover band. It sounded like ska, and when you said brass against the... I'm like, okay. Ass against the machine. <laughs> it was that, weird. Yeah, but, like, I don't know. I hate it because it's just like, okay, so, like, what if you and I just, like, were filmmakers and we just remade, like, famous movies and, like, we're famous because of it? 
and got paid because of it. Watch Hack the Living Dead <laughs> on YouTube. How can they do that, though? Like, <laughs> There's nothing wrong with Hack the Living I love it. No. You should, you should totally be remaking things all the time, especially when it's public domain and you can't get sued for it. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think Rage Against the Machine is. No, no. no. They rage, like I said, they rage four machines now, so... <laughs> so, the lead... So, I'm looking this up because I'm like, yeah. man, this is... I'm not into it, right? Yeah. And if you're gonna... It's not even, like, different. It's, like, the same song, but not as good. Yeah. Question mark. Right? Yeah. Subjective. But the lead singer of this, because I was looking up, I was like, who the fuck is singing this song? The lead singer of this was just like in Florida, and this guy came up sta- on stage and she peed on this guy's face because he That's asked her to. That's that girl? That's that girl. No. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know they were the same person. Oh, yeah, dude. Use your face as a commode with the show shot. Sure is. Yeah. <laughs> Plopping on funny. your dropper, man. Yeah. God, that video was more entertaining than this whole movie. I'm like, ha, ah, guys get beat on. <laughs> so, so imagine her singing like Rage Against the Machine songs yeah. and like pissing on some dude's like like face. Joe, that would have made this movie so on much stage. <laughs> post credit scene. Is the pissing on the stage. No, no, did you not see the post? No, I saw it. What about cat videos? I'm like, man, that's a real fucking 2010 joke. What the is the cat tricks? Hmm? Yeah, that's What is do you a, think, Tone? That is dated. Could be good. Like, did they write this movie 10 years ago and been sitting on it? Like, <laughs> how old is Lana Wachowski? <sighs> I do like what was cool. <laughs> what was cool in the late 90s and early 2000s was Leather Daddies. And now oh, they still are. And now what's cool is like Jessica Henwick with their like her blue Twitter hair wearing frumpy uh, pants. And I'm like, I guess that's cool now for Billie nerds. Eilish question mark. I don't know. I do like Jessica Henwick. Oh, no. Sign me up. But, like, whatever. I don't know. Not in this movie. But I like Jessica Henwick. Like, fucking, I know people shit on Iron Fist, but she made that show watchable. Mm. Uh, Bring her character back. She got powers (laughs) or something. She was in Star Wars Force Awakens. She was one of the X-Wing pilots. Was she really? She's apparently from Game of Thrones. I never watched Game of Thrones. Uh, That was, like, her big thing. Me neither. Uh, And I remember being like, oh, that girl's cute. They should put her in more things. Then we were like, Last Jedi will have a strong Asian character. I'm like, cool. They're bringing Jessica Henwick back. She's already there. And they're like, here's Rose. I'm like, who? I'm like, oh, maybe this character will be good. And then I'm like, oh, (laughs) this character just explained how being child slaves is bad to a child slave. Imagine. She literally is like, Finn, look at this. They're using... (laughs) And he's like, child slave. Oh, yeah. And then Finn's like, can't believe it. And it's like, wait, Finn, you're a child. You were, what the fuck? Like, even worse, yeah. I would say, right? Yeah. Finn, so right? Anyway. He's like, he's like, fuck him. So, anyway, that was Matrix the Resurrections. Back up in your ass with the resurrection. <laughs> Wake up. Um, Come it now. I don't care about this movie. It There was interesting things in it. I liked a lot of the beginning. The meta stuff that annoys people is some of the stuff that I liked. Which I thought was funny because you texted yeah. me. You were like, I like this movie. And I'm like, okay. You I don't know if I said shit. I liked it. Yes, I, you did. I think I, I said, think did good. I say I, I'm going <laughs> to fucking, I got the receipts here, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I watched, I watched Shang-Chi and it was whatever. And then, Oh, okay. Uh, uh, let me tell you the best way to watch this movie. Hold on. Uh, oh, where did I say? Uh, Merry Christmas. Shut up, Joe. Oh, whatever. Yeah. Uh, See what happens when I try to be nice to him? Jesus will never know how much I suffer. That's a t- text from me to you. Yes. And uh, then I told that you were the greatest martyr of Hack the Movies. I said I worked up the confidence to watch it. Oh, I said, well. You did say, didn't you? No, no, no. I misspelled it. Uh, I said Matrix 4 wasn't as garage as people <laughs> you did say garage. <laughs> may or may or making it seem. The action is mediocre and there's some super choices, but I didn't hate it. I didn't say I liked it. I okay. I didn't hate it. All right. However, you're right. So the same day I watched <laughs> The Matrix, well, not the same day, the day before, I finally watched Shang-Chi and the whatever of the whatever. The Legend of the Ten Rings. It doesn't look like a real, everything looks like it's poorly green screen. It looks like a commercial. It's fine. It's junk food for the brain. It was like okay in the middle. It's okay. They accidentally made, fine. They accidentally made their annoying comedic sidekick like the main girl. Oh, Aquafina? What the fuck was that? I said I tweeted, I'm like, she's giving Rob Schneider and Judge Dredd a run ah. for their money as annoying sidekick character. That was like that movie looked like a joke. Like that movie didn't look real. Sure. Like they, I know they just need a movie to make China happy, and they really half-assed it. I, I, the martial arts stuff was cool. 
and that's what I was there for. Yeah, I you know, know, just it reminded me like Black Panther, where it's like I like Black Panther, but the whole ending, I'm like, could you not add a couple bucks to the CGI? This looks terrible. Uh, like, did you think people weren't gonna see this movie? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think it's I think it's fine. It, it's your average Marvel story, <sighs> and I'm usually an apologist for Marvel stuff, but I'm like this. So anyway. So seeing a movie that the Matrix, just, that seeing a movie that looked like a fucking cartoon, and then seeing the Matrix where they had somewhat real looking sets, except for a lot of the, like the analyst office at the end looks terrible, mm, big time with the big chunk taken out of the side of the. Yeah, uh, but I mean, there's some stuff where they're actually shooting on sets, yeah. and I'm like, hey, look, they're in a real place. What do you know? I like movies where it looks like they were actually there. <laughs> oh no, fine, I, yeah. that's fair enough. Uh, this movie again, like you said, I'll agree with you. Like. I didn't know where they were going at first in the beginning, and mm -hmm. I was like, oh, this is interesting. Yeah. And then he finally gets back to the Matrix, Matrix, and I'm like, or out of the Matrix, and yeah. I'm like, oh, shit. Okay, we're doing that. I didn't know it was going to yeah. be that. Um, and then they're just like, all right, what do we do now? I respect Lana to stick into her lore, because they could have just did a straight-up hard reboot where they didn't, someone else is being woken up. The Matrix you allows you to do that because yeah. of the nature of the Matrix in general. Yeah. How there's always they're they're always having a different version. There's always a the one, mm. and you know we learn that in uh, Revelations. But like, it doesn't exactly do that, and in, and it kind of subverts your expectation at the last second. But yeah. then it's like then it trips, and it's like okay, what are we yeah. doing with this analyst character? I think why the needed... fuck are they a part of this in a big way, like hard coded in the Matrix, and yeah. have it like super powered Matrix? I think or she needed her sister's help. Big time. Yes. They're a team. Especially for this. Especially yeah. for this series. Mm -hmm. And I respect her sister for not coming back. No, sure. Um, what was I going to say? One thing I think it did improve upon, like I said, the two and three had that awkward, like like I said, where the scenes were either too slow and talky or too yeah. cartoony in action. This one has a nice blend again. Yes, agreed. Or even the exposition scenes, we're seeing a lot of stuff. It's kind of fast paced. A lot of this movie is the first movie. Yeah, but like, there's not like, all right, we're gonna sit and talk for ten minutes. No, because and we, then we're gonna turn into video games and play <laughs> well, for another fifteen minutes. This is also true. So there's stuff like that that I liked. I mean, I'll. It's okay. I'll see what the next one does. Are like, they making another one? I don't know. They shouldn't. But that's the thing. Like, so this one played it safe, much like Force Awakens played it safe. But it's like, do you have a plan going forward? Because if you don't have a plan going forward, just forget it. Yeah. And again, this is this is a different kind of breed than yeah. Star Wars or Ghostbusters, right? Yeah. Because everything in this world allows it to do what it does. Yeah. And allows it to be meta and allows it to have different variations, versions, yeah. skins on people because it's all yeah. it's all a computer program. So like it doesn't suffer as much as those films do from nostalgia itis or anything like yeah. that, right? Yeah. yeah, I wasn't like I mean I was fine with it. Like I'm, yeah. I'm probably not gonna watch it again anytime soon. It's okay. It's it's capital F fine. Like take it or leave it for yeah. with me. I'm like, sorry. I'm I'm sorry, guys. Like, look, I can't. I'm not praising it. Okay, I'm not praising it. If you don't, you got to say you love this movie. No, 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 no. You have that, to. No, no. The internet wants me to hate this movie. Oh, they did. Oh, wait. And remember, okay. much like what the movie's telling you how it has to be one or the other, there's a nice in-between. Are you going to take the red pill or the blue pill, or are you going to take the gray pill? <laughs> well, people have told me that I'm very red pilled. Um, <laughs> I get it from being friends with Johanna. She's very based. Huh. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> fucking, um, I'm not praising it. This isn't like Afterlife, where I had the opposite of everyone and I hated it. Sure. It's just whatever. But I don't like I understand all the stupid things in it, but I just don't have the energy to hate it. Like it didn't offend me. Mm -hmm. It didn't like like I could totally ignore this one and it's fine. It doesn't ruin the other ones. I, I also am not upset that I watched it, even though we yeah. did it for the review. Like I'm yeah. not like mad I watched it. Like it was it was kind of like, oh, that was kind of OK. I will say I got to go watch fucking licorice pizza now i need to watch something that's not based off anything else yeah like it's not attached to a front like agreed what's this movie but like, fat kid falls in love with a goofy looking chick i'm like oh let me just watch that indie film go for it you know, i'm gonna yeah. i like pt anderson i need yeah, to sure. watch something that's not this goofy <laughs> shit <laughs> um, as much as i love it i need a break once the retread of our youth you know warner brothers in the uh in neo's office there's also statues for batman and green lantern in the back the, yeah. isn't like the bat signal like on the wall am yeah. i imagining that yeah because you got to remind people of your other properties that was a that was an homage to you 
Oh, yeah. So yeah. <laughs> they were like, we're going to put that in there for Tony. Remember was the it? Dark Knight? This looks like it fits more into the Space Jam 2 universe than it does. Oh, we're slamming and jamming in the fucking I was waiting for Don Cheadle to show up and be like, I'm the architect of this construct. <laughs> Man, what's up, Doc? He comes out of the fucking shadows. Maybe. <laughs> Space Jam 3 is going to be Matrix 5. Like, it's going to be a secret. Like they're connected Keanu Reeves all. has to play basketball. Gianna Reeves? I said Keanu. I thought you said Gianna Reeves. <laughs> that's, that's, oh, it's going to be 500 years in the future. Yes. That's their kid. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. She's not called, she's not G, yeah, Gianna Reeves. Yep. They named it. They, she's it's, not Geo. No, it's totally meta at that point. Because it's like, remember that guy who looked like Neo? Yeah. I think his name was Keanu Reeves. <laughs> Anyway, that is it for us. Joe, where can we find you? Uh, you can find me on Movie Dumpster. Uh, movie, movie Dumpster? Du- movie Dumpster. Oh. This is not a simulation. <laughs> you can find us at moviedumpsterpodcast.com uh, on all your favorite uh, podcast apps. And uh, we got a Patreon. we got a store, all that kind of good stuff. Um, when does this come out? This Thursday. Holy shit. Well, we just Quick wrapped turnaround. We, we just wrapped up our, our fourth season, and Tony was on our episode of Jack Frost 2, The Revenge of the Mutant Killer Snowman. Which is available now on Blu-ray, along with the first one. Yeah. from And M- there's commentary tracks on there with people. That's right. And yeah. we also did commentary tracks with Tony. If you're on his Patreon or our Patreon, we can uh, watch. You can watch The Amazing Spider-Man yes. 1 and 2 with us. How do you feel everyone's pretending that those movies were always good now? <laughs> Feels weird, right? So... <laughs> Somebody said that he was the best Spider-Man. I think we talk about it on there. Yeah. Man, he is like not the best Everyone, I, I get he did a good performance in No Way Home, but guys, those movies are still garbage. I, it, it, those movies are still garbage. I don't I'm care sorry. if he has... I also read that like, oh, he's got the best Spider-Man physique. And I'm like, what the fuck does that have to do with the character? That Spider-Man know? needs to eat a sandwich, uh, if you ask yeah, me. I think so. Big lanky Any- man. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, that is it from us. We're, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Check out the Patreon, like yep. I said. And then uh, we got a... Oh, fuck. Do we have a mirror? It's ah, the re- monitor. The monitor's reflective, right? Yes, the monitor's reflective. We're going to un- unplug now. All right. So let's let's do this. Here we go. Ah! Ah! I'm, I'm coming! Ah! Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page.